Uh, it's Matt from Matchstick Melee, flying solo for a little bit tonight. But that doesn't mean we've toned down the excitement for you. We have ourselves a fun time ahead. Uh, yep. Good choices? Excellent. But yeah, first up tonight, we have, uh, <laughs> we have Master Chipmunk versus Chaco from Team Timbers. Uh, followed by Nickel versus Wonder, oh, sorry, the other way. Nickel versus Wonderful Deluxe first, then Master Chipmunk versus Chaco. I'm sorry, I got mixed up. Time is all relative anyway. But yes, let me let me stand behind the, the book like I'm a greeter at a BB. &B. Like, yes, please do come in. Oh, is this your first day? Please sign our guest book. <gasps> Wonderful deluxe! Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I'm all by myself, man. Might have a deluge of uh, people later on, but. We'll see what happens. Uh, do, 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 do. The wind. Wait, what happened? Oh no! The, the bracket switched all up. Darn. Uh, or did it? What did I, wait. Master Chipmunk still playing Chaco? No, that's right, because Chaco dropped. God damn it. All right. Uh, what was my other one that I wanted to do? Kudro and Gemix. I think that was the one I really wanted to see. All right. Okay. That's fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So, it's still going to be I'm going to edit this out later. Uh still going to be um uh Nickel and Wonderful Deluxe. on in when you're ready. Okay. All right. Starting over. Mm, feeling good. Feeling good in, in just over here. Not necessarily in the entire neighborhood, but in my 560 square foot apartment, we're feeling fairly good. That's good to hear. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Popped in, so. <laughs> What's up, Spiral? I'm doing all right. I hope uh, Good. doing well as well. Ah, no work tonight, I take it. Yep, fortunately. I'll be working next week, and then, like, I'm on a uh, on and off, like, weekly basis, pretty mm -hmm. much. Yes, do come in. You're the only one today. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> All right, Narmaya! Narmaya! It's a Zoe Narmaya matchup! When are you going to see this ever? <laughs> Believe in victory. All right. One. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Let's go right into the little deluxe versus Nickel. He first checks mm -hmm. out with the set sooner. He set it back with the Genji, maybe. A bit of walkie to somewhere with it. A punish over onto the light spinning slash with the light. So, there back out, switch over into it. 5 h a what a whiff out going for it. Doesn't have the set sooner though, so use a reset of back. Plus, on block with that DK Crescent move. Try you up, no punish 
There we go. Reset it back with the sweeping beam. Anti out with the close heavy. Not able to link on through with the beam, but still pushing out through the mid screen. Interrupt out with the Setsuna. Rested moon. Stare back out. 5H up. Doubling up yet again. Transient reset. No, punishing out the butterfly flick. Switch it around. We're all. Bit of charge coming over with the convergence. Where's your C? You can see you get to. Get out back in towards the mid screen. Reset it back in the VSS scene. Still plus on block. Yet again off of the H. And wasn't quite ready for the anti air. Nope. I love that big glaive chop she's got. <laughs> yeah, also being like NG and Fogger always pretty cool and sweet. Oh, yeah. Especially when she brings out the sword and just like turns into a giant, <laughs> a giant weapon. <laughs> He reset okay. it back, pressing in. Negative on that one from the ground. It up. See spinning slash right into the oh, Y section. There Empty we go. Jump low. Open her up. The Kylo again, maybe messed up a DP attempt, but that's going to allow her for the legs to go for the JU. That was some nice corner damage. Did Zoe get any buffs in this last patch? Um, Not to my recollection. I don't have a bunch of the small buffs like, within like the past few. But she's uh she's generally in a pretty good spot now. Hmm. I said a pretty good damage when she is opening up with the sweeping beam here. Pushing out with a thunder. No interrupt out before it could resolve. Said soon. Nice. Crescent moon. Is she in the recent event? Kagura to keep up the pressure. Mm -hmm. Right back into the Genji. No link off with the JL two M interrupt. We're gonna push out to the mid screen with the sweeping beam. And Nichols got thunder. the option to pop uh Pop X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You do have overdrive. We haven't seen too much use of any of the uh, newer mechanics. Oh, we missed out. We definitely wanted to set yeah. there, but fortunately, no punish. Proceed. Due to that sweet we reset it back with the heavy breath. Try to catch him out with the delay mash. So, so you get to come in and clutch. Hold on to it. Push right back to the corner. Just looking for a bit more chip out. With the breast and the spinning slash, it's 5H interrupt. Setsuna, and we're just looking to get out of the corner. Ooh, Aerial spinning slash, cross up. the link on through. Spinning slash. And oh, I think we were behind the end a little of the bit. Match. Yeah. Uh, that, okay, the, the nine was all by itself in the counter. I don't know if anybody else saw that at the start of the round. <laughs> yeah, everything I did earlier, I thought you looked like, I'm not too sure, but... Setsuna gonna get with Punisher with the aerial spinning slash right into the ready strike spot dodge to bring it over the the DP attempt, but Nickel remaining patient. Still locked down into the court, looking for it out though. See the mirror conquered, but just a bit too far out to get that parry reversal. He laid onto it, and we're just diving right back into it with the absolute horizon. Overdrive on luck, so now it has to damage Overdrive the drive Zoe. Chip. Oof. Yeah, gonna have the chip out normals long with it. Goes to the risk out with a race strike here, catching on Nickel over with these frame traps. Setsuda over there in clutch. Crescent Boo caught out low. Vio Kogasu gets you into overdrive. Wanted to avoid it out and caught him out trying to move from it. That was a fantastic intercept. All right. Uh, match point. Wonderful Deluxe. Get up. 5M double in up. Like Kogasu gets you caught about during the match and choosing to save out in the city. Gets you cooldown for right now. Just looking for one solid hit into it. Light up. Too close for comfort though. Minus five on that. No, mm. still gonna be ready if I shit out. Another weight over on the reverse. Uh, good throw. Yeah. Remaining patient over Do in it that again. Twist. Nope. No, wait for the strike out this time. It'll cancel through the spinning slide. She was reset it back. Another one, Thunder. Too close for comfort there as well. Oh, all right. Raw pop the OD. Yeah, we're going to wake up to push him off, get a bit of damage as well. We're on the chip. We see chip on normals too far off his face. That's trade out. In favor, one for the Lux, the sweeping beam. Overdrive should be close enough to get clipped over right. Trade nice. onto it though. And just the raw jump in, but couldn't get it out. Minus seven. I punish, but no cancel into the spinning slash. Still giving the girl a chance. So that's the OD. Ooh, nice. And definitely a bit of a rough situation for the Lux there. Nickel still had OD, so chip was. Most likely gonna happen even from a, a regular frame trap. <laughs> it's gonna come up, jump back to avoid over in the sweet yeah. Standard frame trap, push down to the corner. Nick was able to take his turn comfortably. Your oh. pressing move, caught him though. Air lift, space lunch. slash. Ready to take it to the other corner. Yeah, yeah. Do just a wait. Double A up on the standard pressure though. Damn, crane trap, reset it back into the Genji spot. Dodge on that crescent moon though. Allowed him to get that side swap as well. 
Just sit on over at the lake, uh -oh. unfortunately. It's not, not quite able to punch that Gamma Ray, but catch it out that spot, oh, Dodge here. with the DP. Yeah, Anti-Air over onto the Aero Sphinx side. Swing around for the Aero Reset. Still has the Asetsuna here. Light up, but no punch over on Deluxe side. Overdrive over nice. on that Space Flash Snake Trap. Right back up. Heavy Breath to push out towards the corner. Same thing with that Aero Sphinx side. <laughs> I will just a bit too far to get anything going. What an air to air uh -huh. and the conversion out. Not quite enough to kill. Was oh no! <laughs> Why are we so far behind? Why are we so desynced from the action? This game doesn't have rollback. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure, but I'm yeah, I'm assuming we're going for one since we're going to a game three. Yep. That's in Moon. Good check over by Delex, knowing that he's positive there. Nickel remaining patient onto it, but still able to clip him out. Crossover wasn't quite ready to check it. Space Slash over into the buy section, set up with the sweeping beam. You see, Deluxe has been doing a lot of weights over on the quick up situation, still trying to bail these DPs, and giantly able to oh. catch him out of the heavy breath. JU loop into the gamma ray. Look at the damage build up here. And still has Leon available for another sweeping being set up. No escape in towards the corner. There it is, holding it out. Just trying to track him out, trying to DP out with a light. God, I'm trying to press forward. All right, solid hit. Deluxe on set point, which we'll probably find out about after the fact. Engage. Like, you see, got too far out to get it, but close enough for Nickel to get the punish on that light swing slash. Just gonna come out of the match on wake up yet again. And there it was, finally able to dug him back. But the anti air coming in clutch yet again from Nickel on the aerial spinning slash. Neutral jump throw bait, plus on block with that aerial crescent moon. Is he spinning slash? Laying it up, what a spacing trap. Not gonna cancel it to the spinning slash, but Nickel is gonna be able to catch himself mm -hmm. out with the counter poke. We can Kagura off for the hard knockdown. Whoop. Overdrive on the wake up, so we're gonna be super plus onto it. Standing back out, and Deluxe is gonna pop their own. So you need to push out towards the mid screen. Get himself back into the corner, and now OD is gone on Nickel's side. Deluxe still has it up, so it has to worry about the chip adorables, along oh. with no chip. <laughs> Jump in one more. Got it. You can see that too. To All right, we're going to final round, the first set. Nice. That last one into it, though. Just a bit too late on the punish with the Light Kill Kasui. You get to Beeping Beam interrupted out with the set two. On him out. What a counter. Good for him. Push right into the corner. And another one. This time looking on through with the closed medium. Uh, here. Just just cleaned our Maya corner combos. Yeah, has the Crescent Moon, neutral jump throw bait yet again. Still has the Crescent Moon to give up the pressure along with the Setsuna and just keep it about with 5 oh. H. And I'm looking like Nickel was taking it 2 to 1. And we're we're certain about that. <laughs> I'm so right. Like, I think like the. But on the rough side, I'm not sure if it was their connection for the frames. Yeah, two, two wins in a row. Two wins in a row? Okay. <laughs> well, I wonder if the Steam servers are in still a little bit of a tizzy since last night. Yeah, that's definitely... I don't know if you caught any of it, but we were not having a good time playing Guilty Gear last night. Mm. Uh, like, the it, all the Steam servers stopped working at one point. Oh, well, I... Yeah, I was not aware of that. Yeah, hopefully they will recover. Cause I know, I know. Um, like, I'm not sure if it's like a matter of like confirmation bias or something, but uh, yeah, people have been like saying that they felt like, at the very least, with like specifically the Grand Blue service, that it's like gotten worse over time. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the rest side. I mean, Steam maintenance is a thing too, but. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's just like yeah, it's routing like all the traffic place. to a different <laughs> yeah to the to the the D grade server. Yeah, I'm not sure, but either way, we have our yep. Next so match we got going up between Kudro versus Genix. Maybe we do. Uh -oh. <laughs> we got ourselves the mirror coming up nice. too. <laughs> the Lyra Mira. <laughs> <laughs> This ought to be fun to see. I believe the last time I saw Gamix, uh, they were on the Diva. So switch over to Vera is definitely interesting to see. The Vera Mirror. <laughs> yeah, Vera Mirror. <laughs> we're going right into it. We started off. Our first strike's over to Gamix. On mm. with that tick. They're starting back out, just trying to bait out the Red Barrel Sword. And there it is over at Kudu, just like catching out the Dark Game Cancel. So set up with the Chef and Tick Throw out with the Blade of Light. On lock over on towards Kudu's 
Dea back out though. Tried to take it started over with the odd combo, but missed. Hit confirmed coming over with it. He started, oh, a missed conversion over, had the corner, but just couldn't get that five frame link with the close light. Hmm. Gimmick's gonna be able to get out of the corner. And then, oh, they tick there, this time on Gimmick's side. Standing back out. He's playing really patient with these wakes up doing the lay check to try and catch up these red barrel swords over from Kujo, but Kujo still remaining patient over. Jump in. He gives Scott, you know, then again, five frame link, but still gonna be safe going into it and just ducking out with that medium red barrel sword from the Chev install here. Kicked out this time a late tech over on Gamic side. What a whiff push, but no cancel quite into it. Still in favor of Kujo's end. On the life lead. Two <laughs> <Stare down>. <laughs> They're down here. Crossover. Is that going to catch out with the punishment, right? Yes, it is. Hey. All right. Kudro fan club getting what they want. Yeah. Nice switch response over from Kudro. Heavy sky and over with their house there. And again, a 5M check. Crossover with punish for the first time coming over with that to you. Late tech over on the other. Stagger back over into the lights. No NT or caught out of the check, but no kids over the gimmick side. Kudro ready for the poke to keep out. Oh. You awake off of the chef. Nice Gonna hit. be able to link on through the auto combo into the red barrel. So will we see the chef merge? Yes, we will. BD up. Oh. BD of Scarlet Oak to kill out the plus frames. 2M catching up the crossover. And too late on the NT oh. yet again. That gauge paying out dividends. We need a red barrel sword to push on run through. And looking to bait it out, but wasn't ready for the second part of the red barrel sword. Chef hey. merge catching up. The air reset media attempt though. <laughs> And they jump in, looking to disrespect it out this time on the jumping past it. On the All two right. Kudro there, sweeps the leg for the victory. Wrong character. No. <laughs> uh, you should uh, you should have let us know. <laughs> yeah, you should let us know. We'd let you take it back. Yeah, I was. Yeah, see, so new 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 cheese game is too. I believe we have explained uh, Ladiva, so I was. <laughs> hmm. I thought it was a bit odd to uh, see them on the Vera. I mean, I wasn't going to complain, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if that's not your character. Alright, so. Ladiva! I wonder if there's a bug in spectator mode. And then show you what's quite happening for Hopefully it's good on there and but both sides are being relatively yeah. patient. I mean, so, far, so far no one's complained about their ability to actually play the game. And give it up. Try with the chat too. Hopefully <laughs> everything will go sweet. Red girl sword over on the head but a love and already has the meter game for for it. The Lumineera merge. Lock down to the corner. Plus on block with that Scarlet Oath. Allowed to catch him out with that brain trap. Scarlet Oath. Reset it back with it. Caught over with the UOH. Just catch it right down to it. Not going to be enough to kill, but a dire situation over for gimmicks on this set. Staying a light pressure out. 2M up. But that 5 is going to catch and jump forward. That's another round for Kudro. Just another of minus one off it, <laughs> disrespecting it out with the red barrel, sir. Only minus one here. Oh, I oh. take the red temp here, but just a bit too early onto it, though. Tries to go wow. for it. That was a good interrupt grapple. by Kudro. Yeah. Gonna be able to push out the mid screen and catching out that love grapple attempt here. We see Chev merge, might be able to punish it out. No, but still able to block it out. Second part of that red barrel sword catching him out yet again, though. We see oh, air dash cross over. Hop over. over. <laughs> Gonna be able to get that Scarlet Oath link into this time. Good trigger damage and the hard knockdown with that medium red barrel sword. UOA just try to go for it, but interrupted out of that 2 on actually the we got that air reset right to the back though. This could be a yeah, sneak reset of back with the medium headbutt of love. No, interrupt out by Kujo yet again. No punish over with that 2M, but too far for that headbutt of love. 5M interrupting it out. We got ourselves a significant likely over towards Kujo's end. Chef merge, and he does have the immediate backup if he wants to do a full reversal out as well. Minus one on that Scarlet Oath. Gangster any patient looking for the reversal out this time. Two you interrupt, and just a jump back over for Kujo. Afraid of the screwdriver. Will he see it out? Another reversal here. Punishment mm, right? Hard nope. made out over by Gammy. What's the punish cover? Yo! No! <laughs> Wasn't going to, it couldn't get the. With uh, the no. backhand. Well, we at least got to see it. So, things getting better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be a 2 0 for uh, Kudro over Gimmicks. 
Very nice step from the side. So we we'll see more of them coming up. But for right now, we're doing. Yep. We're side round two with Alderaan and. Say it. Total Lucy fan. <laughs> and Professor Nekotech and. Cat and Fairy Threesome. <laughs> It's okay, Seth. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to... Hey, by the way, shout out to that. Seth Series for just saying random nice things about me on Twitter the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that idea? Yeah. Appreciate you. Room password. Oh, is it up in? Uh, no. I figured, why bother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, password. All four, right. Four, 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 four. Or wait for everybody to yeah, come sure. in. Yeah, sure. Just tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> As always, you, you don't work in security, them. do you, Spyro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. well, we wait for everyone to uh, congregate. We always got the veterinarian to come in. It's always <laughs> thanks to, to, med, Bro, the, to Magic the... for chipping in the $15 and all the round for putting in for 11 through the sponsor quest. Unfortunately, we don't have the... Uh, yeah, don't we don't have, have coupon codes, codes, but we do have sponsor quests, and we do have uh, merch purchases and uh, all that kind of you know goods and services. The standard, the standard bunch. Yeah, so I appreciate it if you guys are willing to chip in there. That's funny. The second match is here before uh, the first match. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yeah, there we go. Fun. Here comes Alderaan. So, uh, Gonna blow that guy up with a Death Star. The Seth does need to get over on to the green cab. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, you're expecting on green and he's on the yellow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even see him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't see him. I did not see him. Well, no, because I think I think Neko, no, Neko Tech was in the way. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right, the mirror. <laughs> we see fairly common. They seem to get matched up a fair bit. Well, you know, if I had any idea who that actually was. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> this is that, but still refer to <laughs> She still am going in for trades onto the pokes in your gut. Not to do a body so I can't so not to the caught I trying to move off of that second head, but I love here stand it back over the auto combo. Would have checked over you stole it? Let's see. Double it back up, jump in, able to work out this time, but no cross up over on all around that light head, but a love. Feeling a negative, we're back in towards the neutral. Oh, what a whiff punch. Rush out into it, but no cancel over into the lariat. Wanted to save out into it. Maybe with this neutral here, negative on this head, but a love. What a check over by Ishola. All around impatient too here. And zero there, caught out with that light auto call. Stagger back out, jump in, even on the hit, and reset as well. Except gonna be able to get that going either. Neutral jump. Throw bait, Alderaan very impatient with second both of these jump ins and getting into another tick. The screwdriver out. Will we see throws coming out from both sides? No, just a state of frame. Try to reset it back out and interrupt it. Strong jump in. Getting caught out of the end here. And off of that maximum love bomb. First round going over. Beach Nola. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of flesh colored armlet uh Lediva. <laughs> Hi! Hi, oh, yeah, what's up, Jeff? How's it going? God, she <laughs> rushed home to be to talk to Spiral. <laughs> I'm reading her out. Okay, Thank so it's a match. Uh oh! Yo, <laughs> we dashing, we V-shifting. Yeah. But Diva definitely what? one of the characters to benefit greatly from Rush. Oh, yeah. Here, that same great corner carry and allowing you to convert uh, much better from uh, getting with punishes and counter pokes and the the neutral. Oh, all around <laughs> fighting back is say what a reset on hit off of that headbutt into the 2L. It's screwdriver to tie up the round count. So this is very interesting. I've never seen a little bit in the air catch in a long time. Yeah. We see quite a lot of these usually in these brackets, so we see them here in a fair bit of times, but it's been a quite a while for me as well. Both sides have played quite well. 
Can we sell them? VNC and I used to throw us here. A bit more common now yeah. just to see you trying to keep it up with the screwdrivers. But both sides have been relatively reserved onto it, just trying to keep Ooh. it up with these strikes, and unfortunately, you're not going to see the end what of What is going on? And who, what happened? Oh, I did, did... Is there any kind of indicator? Like, who won that? Yeah. No. Not an indicator that we'll be able to see here. Just going to have to... Yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait it out. On. Yeah, yeah here. Oh, look at all these feet on it's hit. It's not my week, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, yesterday was... No, we don't talk. Yesterday, we don't talk about yesterday. <laughs> you can clearly tell Jem is yesterday. still traumatized. <laughs> minus one, minus one is the score right now. <laughs> I mean, I can do that if you want. It's <laughs> <laughs> like that thing. But that was that's a great round over for each other with that. Another good one. Resets on resets with those light head butts. And now Alderaan's mm -hmm. looking to sweep out the second round. Plus, not long with that. But I love here. Guys, going for the tick throw. Great reaction Woo! out from it. And we're looking. For the reversal throw out with these screwdrivers, forward jump to bait out a throw attempt. Ball around main patient with it. Same thing on each other side with the jump in. <laughs> Gonna have to deal out with the tick throw on the screwdriver. 5 H for the frame kill. Neutral jump to try and bait out the SBA SSBA attempt. Yep. You show it. Main patient out into it. Though. Respecting out that jump in tick throw. Is that gonna work on through? No, too far forward. Just gonna go for the rush. Wall carry all the way in towards the mid screen. Has a second rush. So if he gets that hit, push out into it. No light headbutt of love. You know, out locked out. Oh, that'll do it. H screwdriver. Yeah. The, the match ended. Hold on. All right. Yeah, so I'm gonna guess. Uh, I'm gonna guess player two. Yeah, two wins over from. Who me. shall not be named? <laughs> uh. Has taken that one. Please advance Alderaan over you. Wait, why? Why? Like, why we gotta do? Why things? we gotta mess with things? Yeah, any, any particular reason for that? Oh, uh, okay. A mm. bad reaction you're missing. Need to go to losers? You sure you don't just need to like chill out, and, like for a while, and like I'm not trying to be your doctor, but. <laughs> I mean, if um, if the other player, I want you to push yourself good. for a, for a you know a weekly. That kind of thing should be left to uh, for majors and I stuff. Oh, so Chalange won't let me speak. advance anybody. There we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm back. It was a friend. Um. So, who got DQ'd? Okay. Uh, looks like Seth is out then. Seth. Oh. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You thought Fair you enough. could make it, but you couldn't. I hold no ill will. That just means wonderful deluxe moves on in losers round one. Terrible yeah. choices faces BG Callisto and Uber Cheesecake faces Diamond Dust. Meanwhile, we are moving on to Professor Necotech and Cat and Fairy Threesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that name. <laughs> oh, that's that's not the worst one. I know, but I don't know about that name. <laughs> Whether you know about it or not is irrelevant. That's what it is. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yeah. I hope, hope uh, Seth will be feeling better. If right now we got yeah, it. please feel better, Seth. Yeah, feel better, Seth. I mean, I don't know what get well soon. I mean, MBK. No. Look, he's not wrong. All right, he's he's out <laughs> he's out of line, but he's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, uh Neko Tech and and Cat, you guys are good to go. If you can hear my voice. Just get better soon. Get used to the medication if that's what you have to do. Good luck to you. Get well and remember we support you 100% no mm. matter what you're going through. Okay? Yep. Well then. Wow, an actual fairy. Fairy! I want to be a fairy. But then Too again, easy. there's a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, Seth. What do you mean, too easy? <laughs> Trying to crush my five-year-old dreams here? Hmm, matchstick? Hmm? I mean, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to crush five-year-old gems dreams out here? Hmm? Look, children have to grow up sometime. <laughs> and five seems like a good age. 
No, hang on. I have to type this very long and uh, slightly a by name into my timestamps. <laughs> like, am I wrong here? But does everything seem to be moving in slow motion? It's spectator mode, apparently. It's not. It's nothing graphical because we are just not current with them at the end of the match. Okay. Like if it were graphical, um, we'd be stuttering and hitching up to where they are, and that's just not what's happening. So. And just... my internet signal is strong, so I don't think it's anything hardware-wise, at least on my end. It just looks like playing underwater. I know. Apparently yeah. the, the competitors aren't having any issues, though, so I'm okay to let it go. Yeah. I can't say that. I'm not very sure. Maybe I restart even if the game is running well. But... Yeah, uh, they, we, we would know by now if it was bad for them. Yeah. And that's that's the primary concern. I could try to remake the room in the next set. Give it a shot. Couldn't hurt. Yeah. Why is that? Nice catch nope. over. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try the folklore remedies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we tried the harmful remedies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll rub Robitussin on the on the ch Robitussin on the chest instead of drinking it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, this should be this should be Steve okay, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, his biggest fan. Okay, now. Uh, let's get right back into it. We had a whole round playing out, and then a nice shimmy over by uh, Cat, Cat there to catch out Nekotech for that round start yep. here. Caught out over with the Spectro Dive, rush forward, still plus on block, spot dodge out, but still had to block out that Starry Sky low. Caught out with the TU low. Ooh, he just set up nice right to the edge of his That was, that was really sick, actually. And just another <laughs> rush on I mean, Nekotech to bow out of pressure there. The lockdown into the corner, and Cat will have that meter back up into a heavy spent, spent out, not able to catch out Nekotech. We see Spectra die. Yep. Still plus from the looks of it, staggered it back out. Same yeah. thing out, reset it back, but interrupt out the heavy, heavy GG reset. And even if it's not plus, at this point, people are probably so used to Fairy being plus on that that you'd have to train against that specific thing just, you know, just to get yourself, lose the muscle memory and grow the new one. Yeah. Crossover right into the third. The setup out. Shimmy up. Wall bounce over with the Trom. Reset it back with the light GG. Tick throw right into it. Still has to leave assess to burn out. And 100 meter on deck if he wants to spend it up. Another GG. But press forward over with that rush down on the wake up. Caught out the spot dodge with that 2 0 landing off of the Zephyr JM. Back shift down. Don't let it back out. Punish over in the dispense. Second one for the reset. Well <laughs> Couldn't quite see what happened. Oh, Camp. <laughs> I'm going to guess Neko Tech, but... We'll find out after this. We'll we sure out. will. Do you have the delay? Just trying to bait out these Beppos, but Steve Rope, remaining patient now. We see the Ghost Swing right into the JH Tick throw off of the Spectral Dive. Tear back out. Early Tech over on that throw. This time, no interrupt over with like GG, but caught the run. I wasn't quite ready to spot dodge it. You see another one. Both sides do have a fair amount of meter to burn out if needed. And there it was right immediately. Negotech pushing out in towards some mid screen. And for JM caught out the whiff throw here. Air Star cooked over for only got the one hit. Unfortunate stuff over for Negotech. But she's still going to be able to keep up the pressure here. Overdrive caught out the Zephyr. And we got ourselves a chip normal over with the expense. Two of you from the range coming in clutch. And a full weight on the Bevel working out. Only one more hit before the OD comes out over on Cat's end. Still going to have to block it out of that pressure. Starry Sky caught out the crossover here to M up and still going to have the rush to convert even if that wasn't going to kill. All right, we know what half the game looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't with you. Let's see uh, for it to stay back over here. Spectral dive right into the auto combo. Doesn't cancel right into the trauma to get a bit more meter. Super jump to avoid on the 2U and faking Neko Tech out with the land on the ghost swing. Got ourselves a nice cheeky 5H out to anti air with the close medium. And there's the cancel into the trauma. Interrupt out of the 2U with that 5M. Sector dive still plus onto it. Meter is on deck here. Not choosing to go for any of the Heinrichs or the or the Vergiftens. Counter confirm right over to the Gaspets. Oh, rush good, out good into rush. it. Did Try to do a delayed sequence out. Nekotek was ready to catch it out. What an air to air conversion. Jump in right into that 5L. And now this is looking significantly towards Cat's lead. Mm -hmm. Run up out. Nekotek trying to look for one opportunity, but doesn't have the meter to bow to pressure with the rush. And he's just, he's, she's just getting slowly ah, chipped out as nice we see trade. the trade with the 5H and the 5L. Round start. This battle has ended. <laughs> <laughs> 
And up three, he's gonna be able to take it out, interrupt out with the 05 H here. Double light right into the high. Still gonna be plus off of that. Same through the spectrum. I caught him out trying to check out with the tick throw. Push right into the corner. Gets fenced for a bit more chip. A ton of meter over on Kenton. Are you gonna get anything? Out with it, Spectro Dive, doubling up, Tick Throw, Late Tech over on Negatex, and then BDT, you double it up yet again here. And we see the Gifts Fence burned over yet again. Light GG caught out, caught out of the back dash there too, push out towards the mid screen. Crept over with the Zephyr, rush forward, showing no fear on that, on that minus four. As you see, crossover, gonna be able to clear it out, what a punish coming into it. Star already loaded, proc it out, single overhead. And we got ourselves a Tick Throw. MP Hop low, overdrive the bow out of that mm. scenario though. 5H, no cancel over into the reckless guy quite yet. <laughs> and I believe it was All right. right there well, that's that a pretty good indicator that's 1 1. <laughs> <laughs> Techno Dive, got the crouch confirmed. Light this fence over. Gonna have to hold that light GG. The layup shimmy up right into the Trump. And so many shimmies over on Cats. And you're gonna lock down too early on that close video. There's gonna be a lot of dividends for Necrotech. Gonna be able to get the sequence out with these double Zephyr and Leafs. JL still plus onto it. Empty low off of that landing with that JL. And overdrive on both <laughs> ends. Oh my god. Gonna be able to push it on through. And the reckless that catching Ooh. out. The, the seals. What kind of damage increase do you typically see from OD mode? Uh, 20% on everything except for throws, UOH, and your SP and SSBA. Gotcha. So that okay, was still, so this, that was this damage is unchanged. Yeah, that damage was unchanged. Okay. Alright, we see the, the way go. Personally, I right. think you should have unscaled damage on your SBA and SSBA while you're in OD mode. <laughs> I mean, it's still 4,500 right there. No, no, but no, I don't no. think, I don't think really it's going like that. It's already X Factor. Make it level three. <laughs> oh my God. An old Marvel, huh? <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to get people to say when's Grand Blue. <laughs> Are you saying it though? They see. Look at the meter disparity here. Cat already having a hundred and Neko Tech. Still getting it off, trying to get out those rushes. GG into the Gaspence interrupted out with the Starry Sky low. Standard back out. And we see the Iron Ball. Look for a bit more chip. It's a meter gain. Zephyr double over it. Working on through, but no cancel it to anything. Take you away. Not going to be working on through with that air reset. We're back in towards the neutral. they fogging onto it, but I believe Cat has the slight life lead. Uh, crept over for it. Necro Trek going to be trading out back. We'll see he's gonna catch it out as we're swinging back in towards the full screen neutral. Both sides will have meter coming up. Gaspence burned out, but not able to convert with the reckless effect. Didn't see the full meter gain coming out to it. And both sides will have meter over. Looks a bit though. Calorie confirm caught him out. Yes. A lot of back and forth. So this is very confusing on who's gonna win. Final round. <laughs> Caught out with that prey trap here. Counter confirm where's he gonna set? And finally, instant overhead coming over on Cat's end. Pushed it right into the corner. Spot dodge out. The early tech coming in clutch for Nega Tech, but still locked down with another counter confirm. Back in towards the court. Close heavy. Reset it back with it. And this is how you I caught out trying to move off the heavy wow. GG with the heavy bubble. We see Vergifted finally coming out unlocked. It just needs a simple oh close eight and a trom for the perfect. We made it to the end of a match, everyone! I couldn't Yay. be prouder. <laughs> <laughs> now reset the room. Now I'm gonna remake the room. <laughs> Wait. Right. Neko Tech? What? Why are you bowing no. out? No. Come on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's oh. two DQs. It's too many DQs. Like, who else got DQ'd? Uh, well, um, Yishtola Bussy fan DQ'd uh, themselves, so. Everyone had a rough Monday? I guess. You know. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. They're understandable, playing. understandable. I chose not to play today because I didn't know how Steam was gonna act. Was the was the match laggy? I mean, obviously it was bad for us, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Honestly, you might just choose to 
remake the restart the game and so just to be safe. The whole yeah. game? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Might as well, yeah. Alright, you guys don't get to see my desktop. <laughs> <laughs> Yamate Kuda desktop. <laughs> yeah. Instead, they should go ahead and check out that match for Reno over. No, even blue bars are sketchy today. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely yeah. not. Uh, I just, that's. Mm. Uh, mm. I understand. Yeah. All right. Um, you know what? I'll even restart Steam. How about that? How about that nonsense? <laughs> Yeah. I'll, I'll do as far as I can shy of resetting the computer. Yeah, oh, gonna, yesterday when I down. yesterday Magic when I said connect the game, let's see if you can connect to server before it crashes. That I always said that every time I try to connect to Strive because it feels like I am literally put you know like don't push the button. Game. No. <laughs> Never heard, played Don't Push the Button? I have never played Don't Push the Button. Oh my god. Well, you've never played Vampire Survivors, so back up. I haven't. I, I have it, though. I have it. <laughs> I have it. I just haven't put it on. But I don't know if Steam... Wait, hold on. Let me download it now as we're doing all of it. <laughs> <laughs> because I do want to play it. It's interesting. I just haven't had time to play it. I've been playing Spongebob. I need to get off of Spongebob, man. Okay, it Nichols was... DQing as well. Oh my god. Okay, that means something's going on. Right? Wait, Evo or... If well, no, Nick Nichols says that their internet's been sketchy to begin yeah. with. Oh. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Back? Oh, oh Akai Suisei is going to Frosty's, apparently. And Yay! Nickel's going to try to go, too. And I'll be there. I'm fairly yeah, confident. I'm going to aim for next year. Not not next year's Frosty, yeah, but the yeah, year Yeah, next year. <laughs> Is it not next year's Frosty, but the year after? But the, 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 2024. On a cool for me note, I will be doing uh, ComboCon in September with Wooly and Unruly. From your video games, uh, Wooly, yeah, of course, nice. from Wooly Versus and formerly Super Best Friends. Yeah, wow, Seth, Seth yeah, series brought it up just as I mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they're gonna yeah. do their they're gonna do Wooly Versus Unruly Two, the Dreadening. So, <laughs> uh, look forward to uh, lots of crazy professional wrestler style uh, intros and uh, lots of uh, lots of smack talk. We'll bring it to you <laughs> live on MSM. In September. I'm not doing anything in September but finishing school. Sadly. C c cool? <laughs> Sadly. I normally go what, to Dragon what, Con. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't like Dragon Con. Uh -oh. Why? Uh, they were mean to uh, one, of my con one of my favorite content creators. Oh. What? Who? Uh, I'm not going to say because they're like Oh, it's no. it's someone who's like divisive, even though they don't mean to be. <laughs> okay. So I'm not starting any drama in the chat. Okay. Oh Tell yeah, me. the Columbus the Columbus Regional. I should mention that while everyone's here. Uh, on the 16th oh, of July, we are hosting Juyon Kakutogemu, uh right here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, is at a really nifty spot called Coffee Underground. It's uh, actually like a like a study and performance space under a church on the OSU campus. Um, and uh, we are going to play the heck out of some J-Fighters, baby. Also KOF. Uh, <laughs> but, and the Guilty uh, Gear with the good Chaco. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you see Zerd, uh, Zerd 2, Uniclear, Cross to Egg Battle, Blast Blue, uh, GBVS, Fighters, DNF. DNF, Melty Blood, and VSAV. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, check out the, uh, yeah, uh, there's actually a Smash GG up for it right now. Just search, you know, Juyon Kakuto or Ka Kakuto, and, uh, that'll get you right there. And the stream for that will be coming to you from moi. So, enjoy. Anyway, back to the game now. Wait, they let you play games in church? Yeah. Damn it. Other than Smash? 
Why would they let a devil game like Smash Brothers be played in the church? Well, thing is, I went to church camp, and all they did was play Smash and nothing else. Uh, let's see. So that tells you about my childhood. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, we're gonna... Lucky, lucky, lucky. No, you come down to Georgia, it's either in a I'm strip mall Georgia. or a shopping center. That's where the gaming happens here in Georgia. Or their own building. If it's in a church, that's sacrilege. Now, they're, they're adding more games. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a whole contingent of IRL GBVS players to actually mm -hmm. show up and uh, or at least sign up so that they recommit the four games that are going to be on stream that day to include GBVS and drop something else. Okay. So if you can make it out, I think we can swing the numbers into getting some GBVS on stream. No, I already spent like $600 trying to go to Virginia. <laughs> you can just walk there, you know. For free. Virginia to <laughs> Ohio. Yeah, yeah. So how's your week been going, Spiral? It's I've... been going. <laughs> <laughs> well. Alright, just making sure it's the only one. Perfect. Alright, let's get some uh let's get some winners around three matches in here. Who haven't we seen anything of? We've seen Alderaan fight. We've seen Cat and Fairy. We have not seen Crazy Dogma or Chunko or Zombie and Chipmunk. So let's do those. Crazy Dogma. We haven't seen him in a minute. That That's, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Zom versus Chipmunk. In Kentucky, okay, look in, listen to me. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. On my street alone, no, not my street, two streets down from me, there are three churches within a walking distance of themselves. Uh, yeah. Not one, not <laughs> two, three. Back to back. Different churches. No, matter of fact, there's a church on my street, and then you go a little bit further down, you can literally walk to all the churches down here in Georgia. You can't go down one street without a church on it. Freaking hate the South sometimes. The West Suburbs, born and raised. <laughs> like, Hi, Chipmunk. Please pay. Please play Yule if you are dressed as Yule. <laughs> Yule. So I can yell Yule every like ten seconds when you throw somebody. Yule. It's also associated. It's what? What? I love you. <laughs> as I say, his his oath are associate. Uh, Yule's friend. Oh. I thought they were sisters, but oh, shit! Is that there. racist? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> not, not a big deal. <laughs> Science, huh? Oh shit! Is that racist? Uh, inside chipmunk is a horrible name. <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's, it's like inside cat. Dirt. No, that's also that's very bad. No, I don't like it's, it at all. It's like one of those like. So like you're either an outdoor cat or an inside cat. I, I'm experiencing slowdown just running around this lobby. I'm not sure if, if it's going to be redoing better. the room is going to fix anything. Six. I'm already disappointed. But we did what we could, and that's all we can do. Believe in victory. Battle one. Nice. Engage. Yeah, that's the Chipmunk versus Zom coming up. And we see choosing the rock out the way, and he was messing around with the bit on stream earlier before the tourney. Just seeing what he's got going on. <laughs> if he traps Dyer back out, still plus onto it, but wasn't able to get too much of a decisive hit. We see Tommy right into the tool laser, but we see empty hand coming in clutch. 
No parry coming out with the come at me, bro. We see stare back out the gate again. Take throw over on Chip Bucks and reset it back. MC up on the new perspective. Colorado with the record series over with the Arch Steven kick. We see late tech into it. Stare out with the lights. So I'm gonna be able to get himself out the walk under. Look at my DVMZ over here as we see. We should through with the auto combo after the awesome sauce. Tommy uh, right into the light tool. Destruction with the punch. It's caught out with a frame trap. Not too much. They're going to be able to get off of that counter hit confirmed with no awesome sauce here. Same thing on the link up through with the crouch confirmed. But still a decisive lead over for Zom. We'll see if Jim going to be able to get it back out. Shadow chase forward. Caught out with the lights on Zom's end. That looked cool even though it looked like it was underwater. <laughs> <laughs> See cat ball laser Sammy Tommy you burn down figuring out just doing the stare back over to it. Light awesome sauce trying to disassociate out with the light coming but we see jump back into the gate game. So trying to take space back or back in towards the mid screen. As I say that's so on pushing right into the corner. No tech over to it. Sammy and Tommy, no catch over by Chipbook. JU coming in clutch, gonna be able to force the turn back. ADM arch demon kick, no full convert off into it. Airbnb is actually caught the extended hurt box. That's gonna allow Chip to get that full conversion off of the execution. Air reset out into the new perspective. Tick throw out. We see another one yet again. Shimmy up. Zom not falling for it though. No jump and push over with that whip nor. We see overdrive to just catch out any brain trap cancel. Tommy in a lockdown. I see same thing over. Ah, Chip's head. Still had to block it out. New perspective. Empty hand air to air. Look at the damage out for it though. Not gonna be able to get the awesome sauce loose over for it though. You see H out. <laughs> H over with the thunder flash as well. Sammy and Tommy. Tommy gonna get it stuffed over. And uh, I guess that might have been Zom's net. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is that the zombie boo of, of combo breaker fame? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. I am not disappointed, but I'm not uh, happy either, so. I have up, no catch over in the thunder slash we see. I have shame kick shadow chase back and keep it safe this time on the execution series. New perspective, catching out that cap by New York Steven kick too far out for that 5M. Air to air in Zon's favor here. Not able to get that second air to close heavy. And now get out on that air to air diversion out this time. But also yep. sauce coming in clutch. Catching him out. Full auto combo. Sammy and Tommy <laughs> overdrive. Too close. Sammy and Tommy getting there eventually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Too high up for the wolf stop. Still flat over in that new perspective. Wait from the looks of it. Just a jump out over on Tom's and avoid it out. New perspective. Spot dodge. Not going to be able to catch him out with the close view. He says I'll get a, bit, a chip over with that execution. Sammy and Tommy jump back to avoid it out. No close view into here, but still keeping a lockdown. Caught on the movement with the light. Also saw spot dodge on the empty hand. Moon wears over for both sides. Trying to catch him out. But another catch on the shadow trace. Okay, zombie one away. No way out indeed here. Cap on laser, not even the counter confirmed with Sammy and Tommy. We see the new perspective burned out right into the empty hand. Also knock over from the looks of it. Execution out into the snake bite. Continue now, kept the cancels a bit more, but Tom is locked down and towards the corner. Has to deal with the strike though. Just a jump back. Now you catch out of the super jump. A close heavy link on through. Gonna be able to get the awesome sauce. No, just a bit too low out though. Air to air favor. Chip bug this time in this end. Just shooting the catch out to the wolf. So whip onto the new perspective. Still has the gate of demons on lock, but just choosing for a cheat back. Look for an opportunity to get the execution back up though. No fireball trap fight into it. Zom gonna be able to lock him down. Reset it back to Sammy Tommy. Chip not quite ready to interrupt these cancels, but still keeping a lockdown in towards the Korea. 2U coming in clutch on Zom's end. We see Kappa on missiles coming out. Shimmy up, spot dodge. Gonna be able to get the punch over with it. Brush out. Uh, from so there. Zombie yep. took it. So Zombie took it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, otherwise we'd still point. be in it. I love hey, how we guys. have to figure these matches out like Sherlock freaking Holmes. <laughs> Pentacola versus Baptist? That'll be a bloodbath. Um... <laughs> a sacramental bloodbath. Oh my god. <laughs> Tyler Zombie Ben flagging a top tier every time I see him shaking my head. I um, don't really consider the Wayne top tier He's per se. Being sarcastic. <laughs> Oh. No, I don't know what you guys are talking about. He's broken. <laughs> he, no, yes, he's he won. Broken. <laughs> he, he, he won. That's broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the character. Zomb zombie <laughs> carried by uh by Lewayne. Hey, nerf nerf Lewayne buff Belial too. No. <laughs> no. Keep both of them nerf. I don't want to deal with either at this point in my life. Played too many Lewaynes in my life. I don't really like Belial anyway. Too many in my life. <laughs> <laughs> 
no, I'm getting too I think old that, for this. <laughs> no, so at the time when um, season one still was a thing, it was cast, searchlight, mix up. Those are the top three that low wing players I would constantly play, especially um, cast a lot. Kids you cast. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so yeah. Like, he's the reason why I know how to get out of the stupid unblockable. Right here. This was like the negative frame zone too. At the cross over uh, to the other side. And a new perspective. Just going for a strike off into it. This time with the tick throw. Late tech over on Dogma's end, but still having to hold out the pressure with these inner sector resets. Now trace back, empty hand. Dogma gonna be able to get himself out of the corner with the jump in. Jump back to avoid on the air to get a situation. Too early on to it. Whiff on the 2H, allowing Chunko to be plus off of that air to ground situation here. Figure it out there. High up on the empty end, but not gonna be ready over for the conversion. Still, tick right out to the gate of Deems. Gonna be able to work out on through. And another disrespect off of that H execution and Arch Demon kick with the parry. Into empty hand, not gonna be able to get the counter hit out, but still catching him out with the frame trap. Shadow trace over for the reset, locked off down, and pushed out to the corner with that wolf out. Air gated demons, not a safe jump from that sequence, though. A rising sword on the wake up, just gonna get caught out with another thunder flash. Dagger back out, counter confirmed gated demons as the execution into the snake bite, full auto combo, and just choosing to go right into the enlightenment. Oh. Empty hand to try and fake it out and beat it out. And just using the stagger and back out, tick over it. Still plus on block due to the close. And we see H rising sort of out. Will we see Thunder Flash over in the wake up? No, just a raw check mixing up his defensive timings on wake up. Chunko taking game one. Yep. And we actually got the seed. We saw it! We saw it! <laughs> actually, I'm going to try real. one more tweak after this set. So sit tight, folks. I may be able to save this yet. Yeah. And a great. Ad adaptation over from Dogmas here. You see, you saw that same sequence of the execution and the Arch Demon kick, and chose to wait out the Thunder Flash, punish it out, allow it to push through and get this quarter advantage. Tick throw off of the Regan lane. Caught out with the light, tried to go for the reset over with the throw, but wasn't expecting him to do the wrong match. Anyways, Shadow Trace catching him out yet again over for the reset. And we see a light early spend and early over to the round. UOH up, still plus unblock, trying to bait out the rising sword there, but Dogma remain patient. Still came out with the lockdown, no throws coming off of it. And there goes the install. Empty jump low on that cross up. Hello. That display coming on lock. Not enough to kill, but we see the Thunder Flash on wake up. No, missed time over with the meaty. Chunk will be able to get the reversal back in towards the mid screen here. Air Gay DMs try to fake him out to bait out the rising sword, but Dogma remain patient. Crept out of it though, reset it back. Hey. And off of that plus one, Rising Sword, not choosing to hold that at all. TP! Dragon Punch! TP over on the lock in here. Mix it up, just choosing to strike him out this time here. You see the Overdrive Surge come out, interrupted out for the throw. Rising Sword coming on down. We see Empty up, messed up on the Thunder Flash being at close H. Dog is going to be able to get. Counter a punish Ooh. over to it. 5H interrupt over on the empty hand. Oh. Gotta be a bit more careful onto it though. Execution card over with the close H. Not choosing to go for the wall bounce out for it though. Take you away to try and bait him out though. Counter confirm, but no cancel over into the special. Just trying to keep him locked down over with the power. Another empty hand. This time faking it out. Not remaining patient though. Close heavy. Stealthed over with that cross up. Plus oh. onto it though. What a catch with that walk back. Thought he was going for the tick throw attempt. Chunko's gonna be able to get dividends. Run up, overdrive, keep that lockdown, and just one more. Doubling it up. Dogma <laughs> over on that one. Oh, he tries to sort. Pushed out for quarter to quarter here. Neutral jump, Good. a little bit catching oh, out. The with throw and the parry. That's game two going over to Dogma. Yep. Wow. I was kind of worried. The first one kind of had me worried for Dogma. Were you worried for, for, for Dogma? Yeah, because he wasn't really playing, like, hitting back <laughs> at first or <laughs> He was like, play something, but I couldn't yell. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'll start it by for a 2M counter. 2 Very good, ladies. Just to cash out early into 
The Tempest Blade, one more situation off of that strike there. Just standard frame trap, overdrive out on lock, so now he's not going to be able to chip him out at the very least. See if Chunko's going to be able to do anything going. 5 beat jump, but I'll counter it, confirm. Arch Demon Kick, she's going to mash out, playing that RPS over the Thunder Flash and the strikes. Is he ready? Like, just push him, push him out a bit further. Dogma, jump in, but too high up to get that 7 frame link on the 2M. Now he's looking for one more. Ah. There was the run up to Okay. Oh, the game audio just took a weird twist. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe you might need that computer I, I, restart in the end. <laughs> all right. I, well, like I said, I, I was gonna go do a thing, so I guess I'm gonna be doing the thing. Well, I love it when everything disintegrates at the same time. You know, it really makes uh, it really makes the drain on my credit card like you know nice and singular. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I do this stuff, dude. I right. Power right back into the match. Empty hand and stuff over. Right into it. Lockdown over with the power raises. OD is up on both ends. We'll see. He's going to be able to clean, get out a clean hit. One touch from both might be very significant with the damage increase here. Both sides are remaining relatively patient, but Junko's going to get the first strike and another one. One more, and OD will be off for a dog, but early tech to avoid out in that scenario, though. Flash onto it in favor. Oh, uh, Dogma? Well, I think it might be safe there. to say that uh, Dogma got that one. Yeah, the two wins there. Two yeah. wins, yep. <laughs> two to one in favor of Dogma. Nicely done. Unfortunately, couldn't see the rest of it. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh. Um, like I said, I'm going to go try my, my, my fix real quick. Yeah, because restarting the hardware and like restarting the stream too, that might, that might uh, be what we need. It's possible. Um, give me just one second, folks. I'm going to try my minimum fix and then... We'll try the other thing. Pixelated Graham Blue. Well, yeah, pixelated for you. It's okay for everybody else. No, match. Did you? MBK said make lower, lowering the graphics. If you lower the graphic, it looks pixelated. Yeah. Mm, I don't think it does. I'm look from where I'm looking at it through the through OBS. It looks nice and clean. So I'm not sure what's going on there. No, I'm not saying through the stream. I'm saying if you but go in the game the... and lower the graphics. That's what MBK suggests. Right, I know, but I'm saying I'm not seeing any any pixelation. What I'm seeing yep. is oh. a think, uh... display issue, possibly. Yeah, uh. If it's match as usual PC, it's definitely not the fidelity of the game that would be causing issues. It's probably yeah. other stuff. Right? Yeah, the, I mean, maybe it's... The screens. It's the same uh, hardware that's been running on since day one, so... Yeah. Unless my graphics card is actually dying... Uh, this should be okay. Um, let me just take a quick run around the room. Hmm, I wonder if that was actually it. Mm. I'm not seeing the issue on my own stuff. Here, let's see. Uh, setup for a match stick should be a desktop case, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I run the game. I run the game on a. I run the game on a laptop. I stream on the PC. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the laptop okay. has a 1070, oh. so it's more than strong enough to play Grand Blue. No, I have oh, no right. judgment. Like, wait, Roback's been confirmed, or is that just, wait, what? just pulling my leg? Is that pulling my leg, MBK? MBK, <laughs> are you are you yanking it? My leg, that is. <laughs> <laughs> uh magnum gear thanks for coming in all right this uh yeah the the setup's a laptop like i said it's 1070 and a, and a six core i7 it's it's fine it's it's stream, it's it's, 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 it's the, GC, it's the so... same thing that's been running for the other 84 matches that you know, the other 84 events that have been, we've been running every every thursday so it's it's mm -hmm. yeah. Unless it's destructing, but I think I fixed it. I think what happened was I just got a new monitor tonight uh, because I'm trying to preserve the life of my BenQ 2460, um, the only monitor that's ever been made with, a, with an HDMI out, um, and mm. one that BenQ has decided, despite the proliferation of esports, they don't want to make anymore. So uh, I've taken it away as my monitor, like my actual watch monitor, and I have uh, replaced it with a 
a different one that I just got today, and it, uh, yeah, I guess it was duplicating the display instead of just swapping straight to the new one. So it was running the MUX. Yeah, there's no MUX switch in my laptop. So I was trying to do the, yeah, split the, the graphical difference in both areas, and it wasn't being good. This is my theory anyway. Um, let's test it in a real setting, and then I'll kick myself if this was actually the problem the whole time. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I mean, I wouldn't want you to kick yourself, but I also want the problem to I'm, I'm <laughs> be alleviated. <laughs> Trust me, I'm good at it. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, all right. And in, uh, in the meantime, uh, so this is going to be... No, Senpai, Spider, and Cat are still playing, so this first one's going to be Zombie versus MBK. Looks like a run in semi. Uh, yep, winner semi. MBK, you can't be joking like that. You got my hopes up, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Going to it. Make Jim feel a little bit better on it. You can always help out with the match arena, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, no coast, but we do have some sponsor. You should still have some sponsor quests available if you want to chip in through that oh, or yeah. through your own direct one. Matchstick has very kindly put in his own 15. All of Don around helping out with the 11 cents on it, too. Thank you guys so much. You can there, also put $10 actually... to getting your name shout out in a yeah. video. Uh, that I'm still waiting for. So like, I will mention this one. There, There's actually a really interesting one in there, uh, the sponsor quest. It's a text app for um, iPhone users. Um, just by, like, just getting it puts three bucks into the, the prize pool. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm fairly certain you don't have to commit to using it, but downloading it will add three dollars to the pool and i should also mention that msm retains zero percent of the prize pool when all things are said and done so you can rest assured that it's all going to the players <sighs> all right yeah so yeah hold on log in log in i'm gonna be really upset at myself if i was the problem the whole time <laughs> It's all going to it you. It wasn't Steam. It was Matchstick. <laughs> I destroyed my own tournaments. Burn it to the ground. Is that that is zombie? the only <laughs> thing that I can do. It's letting me do because it won't let me freaking go. Okay, there we go. I haven't done this. Zombie. I meant to ask you this, zombie. Why do you call yourself zombie? I'm more interested in the in the moo part. Cause yeah. it's like it could be it could have been BMW and then we have like zombie BMW combined, but no, it's just zombie zombie moo. But you say the B. But the M is it, small. Did one of your friends like convince you to like call yourself Zombie Moo? <laughs> yeah, did you lose a bet because your name sucks? <laughs> no, I didn't say his name sucks. <laughs> it's kind of it's like it's kind of like people calling me by my government name versus my my tag, which I can never get anybody at four four to freaking do. <laughs> Nobody at my local calls me Gem other than the anime player. It's fine. Okay, MBK choosing to rock out with the Uno here. I'm still choosing to stick out with the Loane, and I think it's looking pretty smooth on our end. This looks so much better. <laughs> It's okay, Matchstick. It's okay. Fair. You didn't know. I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> <laughs> it is unfortunate for the rest of those matches, but we, you, 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 you at least identified it here, so we can, you know, nip it in the bud. <laughs> but right back into it. First round going on at MBK. Definitely interesting to see how they, you know, side sent by Spider and like Chubu as well. Mm -hmm. Red packs recently come up into it. Don't catch out of the fleeks. Spark with the delay close age. Dearly, get that counter confirmed. My cat boss, Sammy and Tommy spot dodge out and gonna be able to air.
Not the one, a high any close line with it. The 2H over to the anti air, right into the spiral spear, faking out the meaty, going for the throw. Late tech over on top, man. Still getting clapped out by the rock Shasa. No jump in, punish into it. We see the awesome sauce back shift over to Sammy Tommy. Tick throw coming right on into you. H cat bot overdrive still had to land. Couldn't spot touch that on the landing here. As we see another awesome sauce to build up back shift. Jumping yet again. Enough of that, says MBK into here with the 2H. That's not ready for the come at me, bro. Sammy Tommy coming back online. We see the missiles coming out into it. And yeah, to you, light awesome sauce, still you unlock. 5 A jump, spiral spear into the fearless dust, and that's going to be it for game one. Mm hmm. All right. That MBK's Andre is uh, looking pretty clean. You see, Anti -air caught out the empty jump, still catching him out. Not quite a graph later drop, so that zombie's gonna get locked down in towards the corner. Rock shots and negative on into it. The awesome sauce here. Standard freight trap over on MVK's end. Mantra will for a bit more. Caught out on the jump in too far for the Tommy out for it. But another clutch 2H coming out of MVK's end. Ready to the spot dodge out to come at me, bro, as well. Runation off of the Spiral Spear. Keep it on lockdown with the Rock shots. Sammy and Tommy crept him over for it though. The light half out not gonna be to work on through. Try to bail out the Fling Spark, but MVK's remain patient with these spot dodges. I'm gonna push him out in towards the corner to this time around. Shimmy up. MBK not falling for it though. Jump in to push it out. Rush leaving him on through. Awesome sauce. Will we see Sammy and Tommy? Please spark over on the wake up. No, just back shift in. Oh. On the overdrive. On MBK's end. Has to be careful with the rush for it. Still plus on blocks. MBK has to respect it out. Disrespect you with the come at me bro on the <laughs> negative phrase. Make it out the V. Take throw out. All right. But not out on songs, and he's gonna be able to keep it up. Just a run up, interrupt on the rock shasta. <laughs> Light out, caught out the missiles. No full conversion over my zombie, but still gonna be all to stall out time for the awesome sauce. Tammy, Tommy fake out, go for it. The throw caught him out, try to move this time around. Wall bounce over with the awesome sauce as the meter is. You see Sammy and Tommy not choosing to go for the HPA quite yet. Could use it to try and snowball the advantage out to it. Rush to just keep him locked down. Fleeting sparks about out of pressure though, back in towards the mid screen. Take throw card out to unlock. Oh, hello. Oh, media up with that frame kill. Peerless thrust. And we're from quarter to quarter. This could be what he needs. One solid strike from Maybe he could do it over with this HP. 5M up, 5H. Remaining patient. But we see the frame trap and the ruination stepping out a bit more. Oh. Sammy and Tommy catching out the spot dodge, though. All right. This is the only game I know where your bros come in clutch. <laughs> I see. Again, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Any, well, any verses really, because, you know, the hard tag system. <laughs> See, able to get that full basic two way on the close video. Go with the bro flow, says Wild Chocobo. It's Wild Chocobro. <laughs> yes, they did. Okay, spot dodge over the lace. Antier coming out for MDK still. Standard frame trap. Last spear up into the Renation. So you get a turn over with that counter hit. And another jump it's stuffed over with that 2H. No cancel over into the Astro Land, so Tiki OH should try and steal out the round. Sammy and Tommy not clipped over by a low. Tick throw, late tech over on MBK's end. And another solid 2H ready to catch out all these jump ins. Hmm, MBK on set point now. <laughs> Shadow clone shoots through the jump. <laughs> A bit punish over that rock shot attempt. Saving on the awesome sauce, just going right into the medium. Tommy interrupted out. And the Kappa hopped right over. Same thing on that 5H. As you see, the awesome sauce rock just done into it. Arm the bastion to the edge at that laser. The 200 trying to keep him out. What a whiff punch with that 5H counter poking out that 5M. And we see standard back over the lights. Meter is on deck for both, but Tom slowly getting pushed out to the corner with these cancels here. 5H interrupted out, able to catch out Sammy until he gets on this yeah. time around. Mantra wheel. And just choose to save it out. Are knocked down over with that 2U. Overdrive coming out on lock. Cap on lead that Sammy and Tommy clipped over with that 5H. So 5M <laughs> catching it with a poke, pushing it out to the mid screen here. Do I have to block out the last part of the H? Awesome sauce. As uh -oh. we see, I have a for size with the Iggy. How's this defense going to be looking like? Good spot dodge. Are they access Bundy? Earth kills pushing on through. And he's just going to commit himself to blocking it all out. They'll leave it on Shan's side to keep him locked down. It's not going to be able to quite go for the full screen punch with a thousand spear void. So, question: Can could could MBK have popped OD during uh, during Yigi and just block everything? Um, 
He can. He'd still have to avoid out on the unblockable Nether Veil, the ground attack. Mm. But yeah. also, but also, it is it is still very risky if the Lowane player is on point because if he sees the overdrive, he can still punish the recovery on it. Yeah. Gotcha. Because, like, yeah. And then on top of that, it's kind of weird. Iggy's weird <laughs> to like to like move or move around anyway because like they like think you're playing Mario Party now. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's in that aspect, yeah. OD is definitely great for dealing with the the Iggy chip, but it's also ideally something that you would already be in when he pops it. Oh, and of course see I you might not choose to pop it if that's the case anyways. So it's just a good way to deter it. But doing it during is a big risk if the low player is uh seeking it out. Because once he sees startup animation he could still follow it up with attack because most of them are relatively fast so uh, like earth pillar earth pillar you know comes out like near instantly and it's mm -hmm. like unreactable so there is still counterplay for the low lane player in that aspect all right well we've got our next uh winner's semi-final this just uh this just got finalized we have cat and fairy threesome versus crazy dogma Who's gonna win, the cat or the oh, dog? That senpai spider and losers after that last. Uh... Yeah. All right. This one ought to be good. Yeah, but who's gonna win, the cat or the dog? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they'll combine into some sort of dog cat. <laughs> cat dog? No, a dog yeah. cat. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> don't know you don't listen. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Magic tried. Failed. <laughs> Failed miserably. You, sir. <laughs> I made the joke I wanted to make. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell no. All right. Uh, let me just pump this in. Let's see. At, uh, oh, God, cat. no. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. I'm spazzing out because it's thundering over at my in my state. <laughs> and it's getting closer. I just made some hella good gumbo. I am both. Oh no. You know, I've never had gumbo. What? I'm fairly certain. Not not a lot of call for gumbo in in the north. <laughs> I mean, I think I think we're more known for. Our, are you freaking out? <laughs> I think we're more known for like our stews or our chowders or the you know. The offerings at your local hot pot restaurant. But not so much in the way of gumbo. I had gumbo. I had, um... I never had, into, um... Chitlins before. Don't... I don't want to have chitlins. If chitlins you know what chitlins sounds are, horrible. They are. <laughs> like, chit chitlins and pig feet and, like, everything else, like, just like that. Like, the straight-up garbage parts of the food. Just, like... Ah, uh, no, no, thank you. I'll, I'll starve. <laughs> no, but like the thing is, to even eat chitlins, you know how well you have to clean it, and then like people who can make chitlins well, <sighs> yeah, they they have a whole process with it. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to deal with all that, so I'm just gonna avoid eating that for the rest <laughs> of my life. You know? Yeah. And then like, <laughs> Callisto. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me just tell uh, Wolf Bane and Chipmunk well, the to thing off. is Callisto Calist you know what character I play I don't play Chick Kid. I play crazy character I don't play cheat character, I just play crazy <laughs> I just don't like thinking That's my problem But um
Next you're gonna tell me you never had New York pizza before. Oh, I mean, I've had New York style pizza, but I haven't been to New York, so I can't really say that I've had New York pizza. Mm -hmm. But yes, yeah, so I've had giant oversized slices. Yeah, I, I've, I'm a fairly inclusive pizza person. If I'm in Chicago, I will indulge in the deep dish. If I am in New York, I will grab my eight foot single slice and fold it over and, and munch away. And if I'm anywhere else, as long as it doesn't have olives, I will eat that pizza. <laughs> do you have a do you have Fellini's Fellini's up there? A what? Fellini's. It's a pizza place. Maybe. We got too many pizza places already. Like if you're not eating mainstream, then you're eating Hound Dogs or uh, Mikey's Late Night Slice. Hmm. I don't know what Mikey is. Mikey's is the only pizza place that's open until three in the morning. Oh, so like night owl. Yeah, like it doesn't open until like 8 p.m. <laughs> and then yeah, all the the seediest people in the world who just wanted a piece of pizza, goddammit, are in there at <laughs> two in the morning discussing their evil plans. <laughs> Damn. All right. Then. I like me some fairy action. Go ahead, Spiral. Take it away. <laughs> hey. A solid round one and four. I wanted two each with two four to get the whole conversion out with that light overdrive surge cancel. Push right into your heavy GG. Lockdown, choosing to jump back. Already advantage over towards Cat here as you see pushing out back into the full screen. And keep the advantage wasn't expected to jump in high over on Dogma and just trying to look out for the approach. You see the overdrive surge going right into the spectral drive. Tom Trom to push out even on hit or block. Jay, you had to get respected out. You see the overdrive has the chip normals to work out with. You see Anti at the empty jump out. Get Spence off of that 5H. Wasn't quite ready to cross over, cross over into it. And a whiff punch and got the medium overdrive surge. Just slowly getting chipped away now. That's yep. going to be it with that 5M. I just, I hadn't thought about it before, but yeah, holy crap. Fairy with OD just chipping everything like twice as hard. Makes me that rethink why. Stupid little twirl she does up in close quarters. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you'd be happy about her stupid little twirl. <laughs> I see. So with, with push out, and you're to catch out the other two. Too low to the ground to get that 5H. Nice try over in that conversion. Light up to catch out with the interior attempt. The dog was going to get something going with that delay match. Back shift about the pressure. Dogma not ready to catch it out. And too close on that overdrive surge. Punched over with the lights. Instant overhead. Right into the top. Should be able to get the wall bounce. I'm just gonna go for a knockdown. Extra damage out. Rush down to push right into the plus door. Same thing over on Douglas and just trying to keep up the pressure and stay close out. But pushed out in towards the midstream. Caught the approach for him with the dispense. And we're just choosing to with a good over with that damage. 5 h up, no ED into it, but still very close to the chip. Has to be careful. Go swing. Not gonna be able to work out though. Jump in, coming in, clutch for Dogma. Try to bait it out. Nice. And the reversal throw over on the defense side. Work it out for Cat here. I like how her animation makes it look like she's surprised that happened. <laughs> <laughs> you expect expecting one of your ghost friends to come out. Uh, that thing I did worked! <laughs> you see, Cat putting themselves on that point here. Double up, but no counter confirm on to a crouch confirm on Cat's end, though. Just choosing to give up the space. No secrets out with Light, because Fence actually she has spent it out there for a bit more chip. You see, space control over with this 5S. Agma still having a hard time coming in on the 3, though. These walkbacks coming in clutch for Cat as well, making these medium double drive surges quiff. But now, able to get that jump in. Air pressure out, though. Crept over for a counter confirm right into the power race. Ooh. Not ready to spot dodge out the overdrive for the punch. Let's see oh, the ghost wow. swing here. And air not working. And Dogma's favorite Cat can be able to answer him out with Vapo here. Empty jump caught out with the 5H as well. Lockdown over with the GG. Clip over with the two block string low. Overdrive said, go plus on into it. Just chooses the reset it back over to the overdrive. So now no chip, but still has to work out on the approach here. Ah, uh, yeah. Pick. Still can't get hit that. though. <laughs> yeah, that empty jump catch. It's all a 2 0 over on Steve O. Shh. It's not Steve O. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret O. <laughs> Uh, I knew the second he he did HGG into HBEPO, I knew it was Steve-O. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have Callisto and Senpai Spider on stream next.
One of my favorite Materos. Actually, every Matera player is my favorite Matera player. So I can't really? <gasps> really? Yeah, I actually like Matera, yeah. surprisingly. I just can't play her. Like, I like Matera's personality. I like how she, like, just owns what she is. But, like, at the end of the day, I play Zeta because she has big personality and buttons I can She's use. She's got two big personalities. <laughs> actually... No, we, we'll talk about this after stream. We'll talk about this after stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you demonetized. I don't want you demonetized at all. You know what? Uh, well, I, I, can, I can lose one video a week. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what, am I, what am I, a YouTube billionaire? <laughs> Markiplier of the FGC? <laughs> like, what I could tell you... Hi, everyone. Um, it's me, Jocksepticeye, and today we're playing Ground Blue Fantasy Versus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like your other video is about to get demonetized because of Prada, it's, so. Yeah. You already got one I think video. All of us are demonetizing that video. Wait, hold on. Hold on. All right, here we go. Chin gears over to loser side. We got Callisto versus Empire Spider mm -hmm. with an eye. <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. Of course. Okay, that's that is how you spell it. <laughs> Ironically, yeah, by spelling it correctly, I have spelled it wrong. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait. How do you spell Uno? U N O. Wrong. <laughs> But also right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Coming out the rush down with the projectile there. Started off to a bad eagle start, but Spider has been slowly yeah. chipping away at Callista's HP here. Ooh, nice late jump, jump in. in. Coming in clutch here. Tried to bait out a reversal. Yeah, that was a nice try, but just a bit too early on to it. As you see, Zephyr out. Couldn't catch it out with the Zephyr link. They push it on through OD. It's available, so I'm getting careful when they chip from the normals alongside the damage freeze. So a couple more of those shots might be enough to do it right there. One more. Great fall, starry sky high. Kalisto does have the core lead if he can find his one way in. On all this chip starting to build up a couple more instances, and that might be enough. Spot dodge already, make the turn back. OD had to pop it out, caught him out into an Yo. air reset. Just a real starry sky on the air reset. Senpai Spider said, what OD? <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't respect that. <laughs> 2H only had the level one light wall, but able to get that jumping punch, shooting the save on the enchanted list. Looking for one more solid hit into it though. Really tech onto it, caught out over with that 5L. We see the seals procked out over with that 2H. 5H for a bit more space control, crossover getting stuffed over with that 5H, but no knockdown. It still locked down to the corner. Kalisto trying to remain patient, but that starry low covered in clutch for Spider, able to get a bit more space control, set up seals and push back in towards the mid screen. Great fall for the lockdown, and now this is over in Spider's lead. 2M up too far, that's unfortunate stuff, but that 2M gonna go to push on through. You see that rush to push back right into the court. 2H up right into the light wall. Overdrive to push him back though. On a combo. Okay, see the chip build over with that OD. Crossover, 2L still over on that checkup. Too far out to get that JM into it though. And just shooting to hold out that Zephyr jump in normal instead of the 2H. Just the raw enchanted lands though. Stagger back over into the Ah, stand light. Going off of that run up, caught out with those five L's. It's a good button. <laughs> Empire Spider, I was in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> if you jump out and push oh. out into it though, too early on the air throw yet again. Dash under. I see a what? lot of whiffs out into it though, caught on the second part of the media. Remember the story there here? Oh, what a stagger out off into the UOA. Caught him out with that delayed throw bait. Gonna be able to get the arrow sword loop. Just looking for the auto combo out. I debate out a rush or back shift here, but Spider going out for the th throw on that air. He said, Oh, oh great that stuff. was a nice hit. Oh, that was nice. Yep, well. I see Callisto gonna be able to keep up the momentum on round one. We'll see if he's able to push on to round two. Kana able to catch out the air to air with that air starry. We see <laughs> awkward one both jumping at each other. Spider gonna be able to come out with the empty hop throw. One seal procked out. Still has a second one. Caught uh, the crossover combo. with the auto combo. Push on through a starry low, leap it out right to the great fall wow. just a bit. Uh, time to push on through. One seal out, but able to fake him out with a low 
Thought he was gonna go for Zephyr, so got a bit more chip into it, but this is a significant round for us fighters. NWC clapped out another man. crossover attempt. Perfect! Man, 28 seconds. He still managed to nail the perfect. Knights get over themselves on a hot one into it. J.O. coming out. Just do it for a light enchanted lands. Close heavy just a bit too early. Not able to catch out that jump in Zephyr. Or I can turn the mid screen this time. Corner pressure over towards Spiders and push along through. Safe jump out with the Zephyr JM. Just shooting about back over with the air star. But we see the tick though. Pushing on through. Still going to be able to get the Oki back shift right into the 5L. Empty hop low. Very full for the sequence. 2H proc out and just choose it to take the chip and push back into the corner for the mid screen. 5 Emma. Rush. Very nicely done. Still going to be able to hit it out. But just a bit too late on that 2H thing. Dive straight over for Kalisto. That one solid poke over for one of the projectiles will be enough to do it. So you're dealing with the chip as well. Has to spend it out though. Too high up from that JU to get that close light link. As Spider Debbie bound out of pressure with that 5L yet again. Yep. That'll do it. Fairly valiant oh, attempt over by Callisto, but that is sent by Spider moving on over in loser side. Mm, verily. Mm -hmm. uh, Callisto, though, still making top eight, if uh, math is correct. Yes, I believe so. I thought it said loser's top eight. Uh, I believe everything. Well, everything's top eight at some point. Yeah, it, yeah but, it starts but... at loser. Yeah, it starts at the, the point of top eight, I believe. We'll okay. find out later. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. moving on to Crazy Dogma versus Master Chipmunk. Master Chipmunk having a really good day. Beats Alderaan, who beat Fuse, <laughs> and now has to fight Crazy Dogma. So let's see how that works out. But, like, Senpai over here saying, corner pressure? What's that? You have <laughs> corner pressure? What is corner oh, pressure? They're already here. <laughs> like, Senpai Spider is one of the few people I know that can play the whole entire set from the corner and not be scared about it. <laughs> with one of the, the with one a character who's like traditionally bad at fighting from the from the corner as well. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeks. All right, but we are in losers' quarters now. Let's go! You guys over? Yo! We just got a $5 donation from a wild choker bro. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Jeff as well for helping out with the sponsor quest. I tried. Yes, I'll go right into it though. What a clash over with the strike portion of the gate at Divas here. Jeff is going to be able to work on through his sweet preemptive air to air tento on dog and just try and cuff him out. Life lead is available in towards the end, so he could choose to play it back a little bit more. Like AD is right into the execution. Overdrive over on the frame trap with the Arch Demon kick, though. See JU right into OD of his own. Keep your second for plus space. I'm going to be able to chip it out, but we see a strike throw here. Tries to be uh, with the close heavy, but crushed out with the throw attempt. Let's see hand jump in, respected over by Dogma. We see the chip built up. No OD over on his end. We see, only has the one hit. Chip out is a real concern here. It really he should have been pushed into it. There's the OD <laughs> here. Jump back to void on the empty hand. Thunder flash here. Not going to be able to catch him out. True block straight. Wow. No. Medium execution, allowing Dogma to reversal out. Dogma, what block string? <laughs> Dogma, was, Dogma was out there dodging the raindrops. Just like... Unfortunate for Chipmunk not to go for the H execution, but Dogma's gonna be running away with that around. The Snake by respected the reset, still plus over on the blocker. You see Stagger back out, Shadow Chase back, air to air, and Dogma's favor, not able to get the link on through. And you see Bowing out of pressure with the Thunder Flash. Still plus off of that new perspective. Empty hand, gonna be able to get a counter hit link, but got the Thunder Flash instead of the execution. Unfortunate stuff. We see no punish over into the overdrive switch, but just choosing to get that OD here. Caught out trying to move. Execution right into the snake bite. Spending out in the gate of Divas. No, just going for the air reset off of the auto combo. Still has the chip out. OD over on Dogma's and not trying to get too much more into it though. Still holding on the empty and same thing over with the jump and doesn't have to worry about the chip from the normals or the specials at least. But what a clutch anti here. Not gonna be able to get anything out for it though. Late tech out into it. New perspective. That should get clipped over with the catastrophe. Full animation 4500. My name, about OD. My name is Bahamut. That's, That's gonna take him out of OD. Will you see the Thunder Flash? 
Standard frame trap out. Hold on to Thunder Flash. Could have been able to wow. punch out the Regan Life, though, given Dogma another chance out here. We'll see if he's going to be able to do anything out for it, though. Just getting pragmatic over with the reversal with the DP. Did you see Standard back out? The throw. Wow. Dogma's been able to snatch victory from the Jaws of Defeat twice in a row here. Mm-hmm. Uh, a dream for him as he takes game one. We'll see if he's going to be able to keep it up for game two. It's a battle one start. Going over for the new perspective. Well, some block. Dogma choosing to respect it out. Hey, Damien Kick mashing out of the snake fight, but got the lead cancel here. No check over by Chip. choosing to respect that out of the air reset. Same thing on the air gated demons on Dogma's M. Empty hand. 5H gonna finally be able to interrupt that one of those in the set. Let's see. Shadow Chase back. Dogma not choosing to go out for the punch quite yet. Gated demons with the plus phrase. Full weight on the H rising sword. This would be a good grip of damage. Keep this fed on the execution. Push out into the corner with the wolves out. New perspective. They're going to now take you away. Cut them over with the high. Two in pressure. And just the empty jump forward. Choosing to go right into OD. A bit of chip going down to it. See the normals coming out. Gate of Demons. Stagger back over for the, two, with for the 2M. Oh, wow. Air to air. This favor on the empty end. Catch there. Cut them over for it though. Moved out. And just choosing to spend out immediately with the Tempest Blade. Great grip of damage off of the end here. Safe jab over with it. Yes, gonna be able to block out the 3001 talents and punish accordingly. Alright, set point looking good for Dogma. Just trying to sweep it out. We'll see if Chipmunk's gonna be able to stop it out. Delay timing on that power race. Chip Jr. respect out. Take his turn back comfortably. And we see Dogma choosing to respect out the snake fight reset this time around. Gated Demons. Demon step out actually for Chipmunk that time around. Just to avoid it out. JU coming in clutch. The Air stall him out. No cross ups, no punish on the whiff power race, but still gonna be able to get the side swap. Shadow Chase back. Empty hand jump out on Dogma's end. We're back in towards the mid screen. This time, corner position in favor of Dogma. What an anti air to try and catch him out. Too far out to get that medium overdrive surge. Frame trapped over, too far over to get the link, but no punish over on the light overdrive surge to fade out the follow up over on Chipmunk's end. New perspective. Flash over in that scenario. 5M up. And the overdrive surge not gonna be able to link on through. Full mash to catch that Shadow Chase forward though. Into it back out as we go back into the neutral. <laughs> Trying to pressure back out though. No cancel the H overdrive surge. Oh, oh. No, see, no, not so high up to avoid the overdrive on wake up and punished over with the landing. Yeah. That is Dogma taking the set two to zero. Dogma with the big brain play there. Saw the OD activation coming, put himself in a fantastic position to be able to punish it. I swear he practiced anti six tech. <laughs> I mean, how many times did he to play in three? Modern he environment. played three sixes in a row now. No. If I remember. We now have Zombie Moo versus Senpai Spider in Loser's Quarter. How about that? Ooh, something we normally see on winner's side. I know. Loser's side. <laughs> no matter who wins, someone's going to be disappointed at the end. Or completely satisfied. No, who knows? No. Only sad. <laughs> oh my god. See me over here for once trying to be positive. Matt Shake is like, no. Why are you trying to be positive? I'm Only in no sad. mood for wholesomeness. <laughs> I'm over here trying to be nice. I'm trying not to make jokes or nothing. Nah, nah, nah. Sadness. <laughs> Look, the world is pain, okay? All life is suffering. <laughs> Dogma, we can't make promises. <laughs> Yeah, we literally can't. <laughs> all right, like, Percy all and Matera. I've not seen Zombie pick up uh, Percival in a long time. Or ever. Yeah. Uh, he's messed around with them before, and he was also messing around with them, I think, a couple of streams. I'll go see him playing around with uh, some of the other players over in the NAPC Discord. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like, Percy is still... Uh, all uh, damage potential, especially with OD now giving that 20%, so those raw hits with the rise and are just oh, yeah. insane grips of damage. I still gonna have to do his way in. Yeah. Still have to outplay Senpai though. Yeah, I am <laughs> interrupted over with that. Wanna clash onto it, dude? Walk for gonna be able to avoid the cross up into it. Hot out of the match with the spot dodge with the close medium though. Five stacks of trauma is on deck. Rush down, interrupted out here. Counter hit confirmed. She's gonna go for the rush up. Will we spend out of this horizon? No, just using the link on through. Air reset out. Still keeping on the Lord Strike though. No counter confirmed right there. Drag it back out to the lights. 
Are you looking for a time to rush? No, there's a Zephyr out. What a link on through, but too high up to get this horizon. Bop, bop, and great awareness bop. on the meter gain on Spider's end. Go right into the super with a dense caress. Okay, so Zombie answered a question I had about personal punishing rush with fireball. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't know if it was too slow or just the right amount to punish it. So now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Tear off into it. Guess as a tick toe. One stack of trauma ray right into the X seal here. Only other one stock here, so we're just gonna go right into the flat set. Three stacks on X, still plus into it. We see caught out with it, just to go right into this horizon. Safe jab center, starting back out, but what? Fuzzy 2 M coming into it. Air starting to get the side stuff and the plus frames out. But just a run up 5M. I'm not letting you get any of these ethereal seals out. Alrighty, back and forth a little bit. Okay, that's it. What an anti here with that 5M. Great fall for the cancel to get that secret out. Single over it with the Zephyr JM. UOH to reset it back. And he's just going to be comfortable taking all that meter gain 20 seconds into the round. Almost at 100% here. Our link on through. Will we see the rush? No, just going to go for the air reset out. One seal proc down. Two, it's still going to be able to catch about trying to move. Has to go for the rush down. Too far to get the great fall. Great combo structure over by Spider. Going to reset it back. Trying to fake out the meaty going for the throw, but an OD over on Zomzet. And now we might get a chance to see that damage or not wow. off of that run up 5h just trying to climb him out again senpai with the what od <laughs> <laughs> you od <OD'd? laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible <laughs> game one going over to spider we'll see if someone's going to be able to bring it back in game two first strikes coming over to spider though one seal proc out we got the second one to get a bit more space control let's we'll see one stack a trauma where he is on deck we'll see if he's going to be able to use it see Fire still came out the pressure, dug it in, back and forth to get a bit more chip. We see Zarizen pushed out for quarter to quarter. X seal up. Just gonna go for the full auto combo. Flat send to cycle it back out. Three stacks of trauma ray. And not going for the Unzoomed in. Canceled this time around. Spider ray patient, able to get this effort J. L. And what an interrupt. Trade onto it and clashing out with the seals and the 5 H. The what? A clash again over on Zom's end. Safe jab out coming to the empty low. Looking for the overdrive, but dedicated a bit too much, but still gonna be able to walk out of range. And punish with the five of them accordingly. All right. Not out. Yeah, again, let's see if he's gonna be able to bring it back this time around. The empty jump, deja vu over in that rest down with that anti air. That's all. Still able to get that stock of trauma up, and Spider gonna be able to get a massive amount of meter gain as well. 2H, still plus on block. There's the one seal proc on second. They get out. Fuzzy Max actually trading out with the 2L there. Great fall, not gonna be able to link on through. But still, significant life lead over towards Spider, and it's not gonna have to work hard if he wants to push on through. On Zoom dead. Should I get a bit more plus frames? And push on through, stay back out, and just an overdrive to bow out with it. 2H off of it, not quite plus enough to get that Zephyr jump in, VD. But Zom is still going to be fighting for his life here. Five stack of trauma, but still having to deal with the chip from all the normals and risky to come out with oh. the raw overdrive here. Hansen didn't interrupt it out with that medium story low. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough fireball to try to counter uh, Matera's projectiles with. A lot of startup. Yeah. Just a bit over on the slow end. And as always, it's so, so dangerous to OD even at the full screen against Matera mm -hmm. to out in the chips. JL okay, not gonna be able to punish over on the landing, fortunately for Zom and keep it out of the corner. As I say that Spider gonna be able to bow out of it with the Zephyr here. Still has a second seal proc. 5H up. What a crossover. Schneiden plus over on that spot dodge there to recover in time. Plat to get a good trade of damage. Back shift, 5L interrupt him out. Whoa. Double it up yet again. This time full rush down. And we got ourselves a tied up set one to one. Yes, we do. This sword of mine burns with an awesome power. Is this what it's like to play against Zeta? Like, since everyone has that forward L2 now, it's like, because like, Zeta has like, Spear of Arvis, right? So, we don't really have to work so hard. Like, all we have to do is conform and just hit, right? Conform. So, like, <laughs> like confirm and hit right Small. so i'm like looking at everyone using this i was like is this how it's like to play against me is this <laughs> like I'm just ah sitting there at senpai it. spider reaches for the uno 
Hmm. Like, I'm just wondering. Like, someone answer this. Answer me this. Is it different? Or? Riddle me this, Batman. I think it's still, uh, like, a fair bit different. Mm -hmm. Because... Because, like, I know... Like, nuance to it, right? Mm -hmm. and you're, spending, you're still spending out on different resources. Rush itself is still going to be plus on block, so you're not going to be retreating, like, with Arvis if you see them block it. Mm -hmm. Because, like... The new mechanics with Zeta is, it's kind of different, like, I don't really use it as, like, for, like, getting out of situations, I just use it for, like, OD situations, you know? Yeah. Like I said, a lot of those young characters, like, probably get a lot of bang out of the buck for, for the offensive mechanics, like, like OD or Rush, mm -hmm. but some characters are still going to be good, even without using it, like, because... And that aspect, I don't know, it's still super good. And he can he didn't need rush either. But he can still use it for, for more wall carry. He can still use OD and he can set up into it properly as well. I think mm -hmm. it's a bit more nuanced like when you compare it to it. Even with okay. like that same like function on hits. There's a lot more that goes into it, whether or not you block it or whiff it. And you know, things like that. <laughs> okay. Cause I never actually had like a proper conversation about like all the new mechanics, you know? Yeah. Very interesting, but not uh, the fullest game changer here. I can see a game changer on that with Platson on Zombs and what oh, combo nice. caught him out trying to move, but didn't catch on to the supers. No other special to move work out with it. Whiff onto the rush, but didn't push <laughs> wow. it out. And off of that scramble situation. Bro, Uno bro, Force choked him. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Let me just grab these frames right quick. He's even dressed no. like Darth Vader. No. Perfect going is on push into the court. We'll see the flink spark. Caught him out with the medium two M. Same thing off of that five M. Air to action in spider's favor. Not able to get that five M. Locked out into it. Fearless thrust onto the spiral spear. Stagger out with the lights. Or back in towards the neutral. Rock shots the strike portion. Catching him out, trying to move out with the air and blowing apart. 5M, it's in favor of no one but Zomp, counter poking out with that 5M, overdrive, just a bit too close on to it, you knew he was looking for it, but still gonna get cut out with that on Zunden. Final air strike, you gonna be sitting comfortable here, the 2M actually being about for that landing into the 5M. He does the OD, the air strike, starting to build up with it, has to be careful with the on Zunden. Oh, JU to stay stay back out, neutral jump throw bait, Spider not falling for it, but no anti air from it as well. OD will be running it out in just about like 10 seconds or so, so we'll see if Zom's going to be able to chip it out from that sequence. No, Rock Shots are going to be able to push on through the H on Zinden. Let's going to get a bit more closer oh, here. Oh, that might be for it. The anti -air, man. Oh. And the Fearless Thrust follow-up working out for him, too. Yeah. And that is Senpai Spider ejecting zombie move from the tournament. Very nice setup from both sides, but that is Spider moving on. GG's in deedly D's. All right, on to winner's final. We have MBK versus Cat and Fairy Threesome. <laughs> that Here's... name will never grow on me. <laughs> Too bad, it's here to stay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just like, mm, can we just call him Cat? I mean, MBK signed up as MBK will meme you, so. <laughs> Yeah, Thank you for um, saying the name out. Anything for you, Wavy. Wavy, whatever. <laughs> but like... Then that zooms in there. It's like a Can tribe called Quest. You have to say the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> My name is a pimp name. Slipback. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with myself. Well, Mr. Slickback. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a pimp name. <laughs> You got to say the whole thing. <laughs> uh, who's in the chair? MBK is. All right. That means we just need uh, Cat and Fairy. So I, uh, I'm probably like, I need like a whole discussion about like the different f with the new mechanics because like I've been using them pretty reg regularly with or without. Whoa, zombie moo. Ooh, thanks for the rain. Yeah, dude. thank you. Muchas gracias. Hi! 
I? Am I? <laughs> Mubot confused? <laughs> Could be. Could be. <laughs> hey, conjugal visitor. I didn't know you were here. Uh, let me let me ping uh, let me ping cat. Not make sure they're paying attention. Cat. We have catnip for you. Up oh, versus MBK <laughs> in winners finals. There we go. Okay, of course. The moment I type it out, the moment they show up. <laughs> Par for the course. It's all right. Like, it's not the worst thing that's I'm, happened this evening. We all know. No. <laughs> yeah. I might. I might try out some OD or some Zeta. Like, Zombie, thanks for coming out. Very, Combo really, really appreciate it. Mechanics. I don't know. And congrats on the big win, by the way. I don't. I didn't get to. I kept meaning to like, you know, congratulate you on Twitter, and I kept forgetting. And now I'll just do it with my voice. Yeah, congrats, Zombie. You did yeah. awesome. You're an awesome player, Zombie, and I like watching you play a lot. So, with me, that's not saying much because I'm lazy. But you see her go there. On to Ash, the winners' finals. Three out of five here. MBK. Still choosing that rock out with the unit here. We might see the character swap depending on how the set goes. But still looking good for him over with these first strikes. Rush Rush gonna be oh, yeah. push on through. And he's just using the zone out with these spiral spheres and the renations here. Cat actually I'm trying saying. to go in for the looks of it. This match, you I mean, yeah, you wouldn't think it's like as they're the, the characters are as proximal to each other as they are. It's I think it's more like if it, when it comes down to like having more space to utilize, I think it's more an honor aid. Play field. Ever since the changes to dispense, like mm -hmm. in that, like those of the zoner are even with the anti zoner aspect that, uh, like you know, it has with the rock shots and being able to pierce single projectiles, like, mm -hmm. like now with the sense treating as like a one hit of a projectile, you can only push on through, you can't really like zone out of the full screen that like you can. Oh, nice, which is unfair. Took out of the Tarzan swing, play. and yeah. Okay. All right. So round one, MBK's got the first win. Okay, so here as you like, see, the lay of caught out with the fleeting spark here. Sends it back out. What? A shivy over on MBK's end, pushing on through, saving out on the spirals here, just going right into the fierce left. Staring out with the lights, has to be careful. It jabs on all of those with the H Beppo. You see Spectro dive, still gonna get the punish out with that 5H, looking over for the range, back shift out of position there, as you see counter it confirm off of that 5M here. Stands it back out, and too close out for the third strike, shooting up and just bowing out with the Beppo, but MBK ready with the full raid, close heavy, Astro Lance for the finish. That's a strong game one from MBK, let's see if he's got another one in him. Or will uh, Cat and Fairy Threesome make the adaptations? And here, here. Still been doing great onto it though, cycling back. Will I be a fleeting spark here? Will I not? I'm going to do it right here. He's going to be able to push on through, but yet another shivvy miniature wheel. Fire Spear just didn't catch it out this time. Too low to the ground to get that Light Rakshasa, but still a great grip of damage off of that corner combo. Meat is on MBK's end, but Meter will be on both sides to use. You see the zoning. Spectro Dive crushed out with their Rakshasa here. Nation for a bit more chip. Just trying to stuff him out though, too far out from the defense. Should be neutral on that one, both sides remaining patient and plus on that Spectro Dive. Crossover up, 5H, still active enough to catch it out on recovery though. Yep. That point going on too, first strike's coming over to the rock shots. Rudation up, double it up yet again, three times, four times. And cycling it back over with the rock shots. Okay. Having a hard time, yeah, maybe there's a bit of unfamiliarity with the, the matchup too. Whip it good off of that dispense, just doing to get out of damage, push it right over into it. Overhead, taking the damage that he can get with it. Late tech out, second one gonna be able to push on through. Shimmy up, spot thought Joes over on MBKs and not gonna be able to catch out with the close heavy. But now, Cat is able to secure a life lead. We'll see if they're gonna be able to do much with it. Clash onto the spiral screen on the 5H. Do you up sequence out? Oh, it's still wow. red. Fleek sparked it a die out to the delay yet again. Great timings over on those parries. We see overdrive out. We see the overdrive over on MBKs and still risky. Boy, over with those full screen nearest, but that's one hit, two hit, just one more, and the OD will be offline over for for cat. Go swing, and there it is over in the ear there, cat out of the recovery. Yep. 
I mean, Both are probably one combo away from going down, though. Yeah. Yep. Isles here to catch out the Ghost Quake forward and the Ruination to close it out. Game it's two. Ruination. See, Matchstick said something. I did. And that was <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll see if he's going to be able to get this pressure here. Super comfortable at the full speed. Finally able to get in and just bowing right back into it. Back into his pressure. You will wait for the throw bait while that's at the Metro. Just a bit shy of it, fortunately, for, for Cap, but still locked down in towards the corner. But just going to be able to get out with that ghost swing. My guy in BK was just like, you done with, you, you done with him? Huh? You done? <laughs> no, no. Now fight to win. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're on a set point 5M. Not ready for the counter at this time around, but first strike's going over to Cat. Both swing out, and nice Tier coming in clutch yet again for MVK. 5 h no punish over into it. Or no cancel as well. You see, spot dodge on the defense, not choosing to press forward with the crossover. It's still super comfortable for MVK in terms of that. Too far away to get that medium Beppo. Backshift to get out of the situation. No whiff punish over on the Spectro dive. But still looking about equal. As I say, they're right Ooh, into it though. That time it lands. Finally choosing not to go for the parry able to get the high off of the mix-up with your damage and now the life lead over on cat's end but mvk still comfortable to sit at the full screen he's gonna have to do something eventually or as i say that i thought that was Kat a clean jump for a second yeah i'm sure we need to take the risk over into it but we see overdrive but we see it over in mvk's head no not quite still at risk but dealing out with the full screen spectral dive recovery out of the time and Cat might be looking for one solid hit over into yeah. SSB here with the with the eighth or right. GG locked down. Mancho wheel, no whiff punch over with that 5-0. Oh. Cut over with the Rock Shasta. Oki out trying to bait out a reversal, but Cat remaining patient over from that range. Ghost swings out. 20 seconds are left on the clock. He's gonna be able to catch up the ghost swing over with the thousand feet away. No, hopped <laughs> right over into, but too high up to get the link out through. But the delay frame trap gonna be able to get the chip out. Nice oh. try over, but yeah. that was just a bit too high. OD mode doing its job. It's all in the design, Doc, folks. <laughs> yeah, right into it, though. What a good jump faking out. A big landing with it. Air to air in Cat's favor with the HGG here. Try to go for the HBevel, but crossover coming in clutch for MDK. Thought he's going to go for the instant. But still working out and catching it out. Knockdown out. What a match. Just choosing for the HG Spence. Side swap out. And that's actually going to cause out the flea spark to whip. What a nice time to do it with the instant. OD up since he has the meter available. Now he can chip out with the normals. Has to be careful with the rock shots up. We see spectral knife kicks. EG punished out. One hit, two hits. Early tech outs. At least one more hit to get rid of the OD counter cover. Keeping him out with it. Fleeing spark. Nice. And a rough down. And the 8th right and record is going to come and unlock as well. That, that was sick. He's like, I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was a read. <laughs> we got ourselves a point on the board over for Steve. We'll see if he's gonna be able to keep it up for the reverse sweep or if MBK is gonna be able to clinch it out. Same round starts over for MBK. Treating back to full screen, throwing out these runations and the rock shots us whiff onto the throw just a bit too far away. MBK is gonna be pushed on through. Safe jab out. Mantra wheel for the wall about gonna be able to get it out. But just a bit too greedy trying to get the close heavy like wow got another Ooh. chance. As I see that <laughs> wow. denied on that jump in. That was like a Tiger Woods trick shot. <laughs> <laughs> that point coming over to him, we'll see. If he's gonna be go able to away. No, cryptic stay. <laughs> I see. Welcome back, Cryptic. Going right into the, the second battle here. Big chip coming over with the Tromp. Interrupt out with that 5M. Another Fleeting Spark here. Still showing no fear. No wait on the parry here. Staggered up back out. Caught him out with the frame trap. Mantra wheel spent out. Two the save out on the meter. Yes, he is. Rock shots are right into the 2U. Going back over for the oh. overdrive. Time to Damn. rack up some massive chip damage. Yeah, we'll see if he's going to be able to get a chance to full screen. Still been super comfortable. HGG pushed out into it, though. Able to, to recover out in time. Spectral dive. Beppo for a bit more. 5H to catch out the approach. You see, super jump. Ghostly. Denying it out. In air in favor of no one. Spectral dive. Slowly chipping away with these normals along with Trom here. And nothing to worry about. These Rock Shasta cancels as well. Spence high up overdrive. Not going to be able to punish oh, due to the jump in. We nice. see a mix of them out foul. No, we have to reckless back cancel. That is a concern out there. One low poke, 
or one mid poke into SSPA, and that could be for MPK over in this round. Same thing for Cap as well. <laughs> Let's see, with Punish out, locked down in towards the corner, Rude Nation negative onto it, one more hit, and that'll be enough to catch up the OD, or enough to end their round with how low their HPs are. We still have, there's about 18 seconds left, it's a bit fuzzy on who has the life lead, as I see that, I have with Punish out, and the SSPA mm. tied on the round count. Alright, still set point for MBK. But, uh, Cat could tie this up. Still similar to the same thing, Spectro dive, UOH clipped him over with it. Just swing for a reset on him with that 5L. I'm not sure if that's what he wanted, but regardless, still getting a decent chunk of damage off of that UOH. Go swing out 5H up close enough to get that Gaspence as well. What a wrong match the one time he tried to chivy up the Bale the Fleeing Spark. <laughs> MBK ready to check him out. Light Rock Shasta, air reset, OD still too close to block it out. Not ready to spot dodge it either. Go swing out Gaspence. Will we see it out this time? Throw? Oh. No, crossover! Dash to the inside. Big brain on the MBK. I was going to say, Kaz has been awfully aggressive on those fix-ups. He hasn't went for throw quite yet on those sequences. On MBK to get a bit more out for 5H. That could have been the SSP. It wasn't there quite yet. MBK needs to be careful on those. As we see right there, it goes mm. swing to catch out the rock. Shasa, we're tied up on the set count. Wow. What looked like was going to be a blowout for MBK has now become a very heated match. Um, I wouldn't say that. It, it is akin to it. It is basically a super mode where um, basically everything you do inflicts chip damage. Um, you can only really be knocked out of it due to either time or being hit three uh, three different times. But yeah, it, it is it is in essence the same in that it is an activated power-up that you can do whenever you want to well not whenever you want to when you have the full meter yeah that's like but it is a univer universal mechanic that is a power-up mm -hmm. and bestows cer certain benefits like sparking or x-factor or anything like that yeah. but yeah, when... as they always say the devil's in the details and how you use it in this game varies wildly from how d similar things are used in other games mm -hmm. I think a good analogy that it is Gold Burst mixed with X Factor from Marvel. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's closer. Yeah. And then, I see an earlier cast starting to mix up the sequences on it. Oh, yeah. Throw off that GG setup and AO is still back there around. With the Spectro Dive confirmed into the SSPA here. MVK looking to buy it back and take it to a Battle 3, though. You see here already about 60% of Cat's life gone there. Got shots over for the whiff punch yet again. Spectro Dive clapped over with the Rune Nation. And the Spire Spear gonna get the wall bounce over with it. And we're going to the final round of this yes, game. Yes, we are. I wanted to commentate on this, but I missed the first two rounds where MBK was winning. And all I saw was, was Cat and Fairy just... Just stopping after that, so I didn't know what to say about it. Cat, 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 and, fairy. Fairy. Cat, cat and fairy, what? <laughs> I will not stoop so low. One of those is technically a child, a ghost child, but a child nonetheless. She's an immortal. Fair. Every immortal has an age. <laughs> Don't <Bro. make> <laughs> Very kind of just running that round. The reverse 3 0, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. yeah, yeah. So now that that match is over, I. The man! Who needs no introduction? Hey, and he's cryptic! I don't want to. I'm here. Yay! And now I gotta make up for lost time. Magic did my husband! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Neo, it's true. Ice cream, thanks for the follow. I like your name, Neo. Yeah, ice Neo cream. Ice Cream is a good name. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. So, are you Neapolitan Ice Cream or are you Neo from Ruby? No, uh, you can only pick it up in the in the Crystal Kingdom uh, now that Sailor Moon is in charge of everything. Fair enough. Understood. Yep. <laughs> uh, but up next, we have Crazy Dogma versus Senpai Spider fighting it out in the loser semis. This will be a uh, first to two. Um, Magic, I think you misspoke a little bit. You said that Senpai Spider is in Losers. No, he's right. 
Yeah, but Senpai Senpai Spider just beat Zombie to to get here as well. What? Yeah, it's been kind of a crazy night of upsets. There's been no keeping what? up. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah you, should, you should just take a look at the bracket. Just follow it around. Just... Oh my god, I want to. I'm about to take a look at the bracket right now. Do it. Like you will be amazed. Spiral, take it away. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, switch your gears over to lose this side. We got Dogma and Spider coming right up into it. Wait, we have the seal set up. Clipped over with the low for the first strike. Second out, caught the crossover. Just gonna get a small grip of damage here. And you see, Dogma's still trying to find a way in against the tier. Slowly approaching it towards the corner, but taking a ton of chip out of the process. Clipped over with the instant high and low. Knocked down over with the starry low. Double seal, procked out. Brave fall crossed over, but not gonna be able to get a punish. What a catch over with that 2U. Catch out the extended hurt box there. Safe spacing over with that light overdrive surge. Generally unpunishable by Matera at that rate. Anyways, clipped over hard knockdown with the H seal sequence and just another run up to you coming in clutch. Do oh a man. area for your troubles. No <laughs> so counter deep. first, not gonna be able to push on through. But OD is activated on Spider's end. Locked down with the air blockable setup. <laughs> Caught out just at the wrong time with the seal park setup. And OD is activated, neurons are too. <laughs> <laughs> Someone woke up Senpai. Someone gave him coffee. That's all I can say. <laughs> Senpai lives in his own time zone. So. <laughs> back over into that mid screen. Dogma trying to find a way in. Getting clipped over by all these great falls and these starry sky shots. Along with 5H, CO procs are set up. One down, two down, too far to get that air bubble set up. But still keeping Dogma locked down to the corner with that clash trade. Crossover to get it back in towards the mid screen. It's just having a hard time trying to maneuver around through. Got the meter for it off of that scramble. Overdrive is unlocked. Jump in, copped him out, pushed right into the corner. Placed it out. No Kyle trying to move, but the light regulate. I'm not sure if you wanted that for the full sequence. But anti air for your troubles on that empty Zephyr hop with the close heavy. Good trade there. But pushed him all the way full screen. Yet again, he's going to have to find a way to push on through. Overdrive, not going to be able to get too much of a punch. You see. Hold on, stagger back out for the auto combo. One hit will be enough to close out Dogma's overdrive. Meanwhile, Spider building up a ton of meter to use out for the rushdown, and there it is, 50 meters spent. But OD lost on Dogma's and gonna have to find another way in. Here, as you see, the anti air on the empty jump in. Push it on through. Regan Lave interrupted out. Great fall for a bit more chip and just needs like one more special move to stuff it out. Great fall. Starry High ducked right under. Jump mm. in. Push on through. Nice. Yeah, on the clip out on the strike. Got the meter built up and just trying to push on through. Not too much shift right in risk there. on it. Just shift right Somebody into those DMs. making great use of that, uh, of the V-shift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I do is definitely favorable for the on the defense. Allowing us to stuff it out though. No full seek is over with the Lever Drive Surge, but catch out trying to mash over on the air reset. Stay out of there for a pressure going into it. And ready to catch him out of the Zephyr Hop. No escape into its recorder as we go in from, from one to the other there. Delay on the power race, not trying to come out. Respecting the Zephyr jump in normal, allowing Spider to go in for the tick though. Starting low, saving on the seals until it gets a bit closer. One's rocked out, two rocked out. No air unblockable setup with that 2L, fortunately for Dogma. And still maintaining out the lively bit of damage coming underway with that empty jump, empty air. You see, run up to you, stuff down to it. Jump out from both sides, and yet again, locked out of the skies, air throw on Dogma's end to get the round. Hmm. I feel like somebody got a point by now. Oh, you're right. It didn't. Uh, it didn't calculate. <laughs> Done through here. Still gonna be able to get the secrets out. Caught out with the high low double overhead. Not gonna be able to prog out. So win for the reset on the UOH. Able to cycle back into the starting low. Great fall. No SBA needed. That was a quick one over in Spider's yeah. After Putting such a well point. played round from Dogma, Senpai answers back in a resounding tone. Great awareness over in that sequence too. Knew that he wouldn't be able to link on through without spending out the rush down, so chooses to proc out that second seal over with the UOH, allowing it to close it out off of that. We see Dogma still getting a great chunk of damage here too. Not going for full sequence over with the overdrive search yet again. What a punish over with that JEL. Bit too high up to get any further follow up, but still significant. Lifely, we'll see if Spider's going to be able to bring it back. Maybe life deficit. Just pushing on through with the rush. Do not yet again, not even catch on the air to air. OD, now he's gonna have to look for a clean it if he wants to push on through. Zephyr JL right into the frame trap, caught out of the rush there as we can see. Try to be a bit too greedy, pressing forward with that with that mechanic here. Double overhead, empty, hop, oh, low, great fall. There it is! The Zephyr loop to push it out, two to zero. 
Spider just had a pinch of health left and managed to turn it all around. Thanks to this game's brand new comeback mechanic. <laughs> you know, I always said that Grand Blue needed a comeback mechanic. <laughs> thanks okay. to thanks to Universal V Trigger, sent by Spider was able to turn it around. I just want to say I I love Overdrive <laughs> because my character can use it very well. But <laughs> aside from that, I think as a comeback mechanic, I think it's a bit strong. <laughs> Not because it, be, not because it, of the comeback mechanic, but because you can get it when you're already winning, and then it be, it goes from being a comeback. Well, then it's not a comeback mechanic. A, it's a it's, it's a, a win more mechanic. It's a it's a it's a, a salt in the wound mechanic. Exactly. It's just it's just win more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Let's see some Yeah. Uno mirrors. All right. I'm leaving, you. guys. Thank you guys for having me. Fireball. <laughs> Right, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 Cryptic, come back here. Cryptic, come back here. I am already gone. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to leave. Don't if I have to sit me, through this I'm already you. dead. <laughs> <laughs> I see back to three out of five for the rest of eternity in here. Yes, I'm three out of five. Yeah, it's, it's the final! Of course it's 3 out of 5! We have to watch potentially 5 games of this? Bro, they're both gonna switch to, to, to Matera next, shut up! Oh, uh, God! Who authorized this? Hi. Matchstick? <laughs> your Fair boyfriend? Enough. Your husband? Your partner yes, in and crime? I, and he can and do life. Uh, Sorry, oh my god, why did you throw a pie already? <laughs> For crying out loud, somebody throw a chair. Dogma, thanks for coming out. Happy you can make it. GG's Dogma. Is, is the old man the Suchi Kage? Is the question in the chat. Um, he's just annoying. I forget who that was, actually. I don't watch the Naruto's. <laughs> Not anymore. You too old for it, huh? Nastic, no, huh? No, no, it's just that now I'm into the whole foot. Instead of just the Naruto's. Oh yeah, no, I made it weird. Yeah, thanks everyone. <laughs> I had, I got a laugh out of it. Thank you. Like, easy, you, you, you already know. In my head. <laughs> I'm trying my best to not watch this match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, like, what are they doing? They're literally fucking. <laughs> <laughs> They're prolonging they the experience at, for you. Cryptic. They sat at three quarters screen for like a solid ten seconds, like, aggressively like walking at each other, doing nothing. Like, uh, I don't think there's anything out there, but both both sides were definitely scared of the threat of SSBA. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you. Like, um, MVK did pull it out on round one. You get a bit more Just like at the movie the theater. <laughs> but, <laughs> anyway. That SSB game was, like, the most exciting thing about this match so far, and I only give it a three. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. look at them. Look at them. Just, oh, look at them sitting full screen at each other. Yo, look. Oh, my God. Look at this neutral man. Look how godlike this neutral! Oh man, they're just- He's just jamming at full this, screen! What a godlike- This- this is the oh, kind of neutral- man. This is the kind of neutral you want to see, uh, brought to Street Fighter Six when- This is the kind of neutral I'd turn it off for! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Whoever went back to the room, thank you. They're both- you They're both so changing much. characters. <laughs> I- I would accept both of them. I don't- like, even though it's been by one, I would accept if both of them did. Thank you. Now we have something interesting to watch. One of them's gonna be acting like a coward, and the other's gonna be trying to get in on them. And yes, I did phrase that exactly the way I wanted to because it's Belial. Believe in victory. Ah, oh, this is a much better match. I'm <laughs> so you ready to give Daddy some sugar here? Okay. Oh yeah, I will give Daddy some sugar any day of the week as long as it's not dual on race. Oh yeah. Belial, Belial and his gilfs, man. True. He's got a fetish with Monopoly, man. Wait, wait, gills? What's a gill? Come on, man. We don't, don't, don't tell her. <laughs> don't tell her. 
I know the M1, I know the D1, but I don't know the G1. I bet you do know the D1. <laughs> Good <laughs> God! <laughs> Dear Lord, her arms Okay, Spiral, off. just go ahead that. and talk. Spiral, just go ahead. I just, I'm, I'm done with these two. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> it was just right there. We, we are in the second round of game two. Yes, we are. <laughs> Right on through. BD of Link Spark not able to resolve quick enough, <laughs> allowing MBK to get the punish right on through. Saving out on the Asmodeus cooldown. Still has the Fleet Spark, but Kana trying to move on Wake Up. Cycling <laughs> back out H Notoria after the auto combo. Reset it back. Medium Crooked just trying to push on through. Want to check over my spider, but not confident over on that light cancel. Low crush under that 2M with that 5H. Catching the approach, and we're back in towards the mid screen. 5H check in here, Ooh. not afraid out for it. And we see that one with paying out dividends a bit safer on block and on whiff now for Spider. So allowing him to use it a bit more liberty to escape out and approach. Mancho wheel, we're all catching out that 5H. H out, they can have out for it. Kind of the move it yet again. H cooking for the crowd to confirm. And we're going right into the wow, end of Genesis. Wow. We're gonna do fuzzy here. Might be enough to kill a bit of scaling off of that auto combo. I'll check it out the damage right here. Yep. More than enough. Did you notice? Play. I just want to say, did you notice how MDK switched to Belial, and all of a sudden these rounds are just flying by? <laughs> what, how magical is that? What could it's possibly... not magical, it's just Unga. <laughs> Fair. Better than, you know, <laughs> Yeah, better than thinking about your next move and planning accordingly. Yes. It's like, excuse Monkey, me. Monkey, the way it was meant to be yeah. played. It's like, bro, what is this, chess? Nah, that. <laughs> Giant rock throwing, let's go. He's just trying to play chess. MBK is playing tic tac toe. MBK is playing okay. throw the rock. <laughs> no, it's called beat the little person. I mean, that's fair here. too. I am being able to beat him out there. We see the Astral Lance on Wake Up catching out the VD 2M. Anti air out with that Spiral Spear. Catch on the approach to lay out with the VD of Retro. 2M. Do well check, but not going for the full conversion off of the light. Advantage is over to a spire and so sitting out comfortably. Get a bit more chip coming out of that spire and catching the crossover with the with the 2M. Hi Taki. Let's see if MBK is going to be a crossover in the rock sasa. Jump back forward, don't know if I show it to you, but still getting locked down with that crook. Caught out the frame track here, just a bit too much of a two. Brain trap for that lightning spark to work on through. Jump it, one more spear, still punched over with the second hit of that 5H. We're back in towards the mid screen. Bigger sent by Spider despite the life deficit. H Crooked coming in, catch, catching out that mantra wheel with. We see a bit of meter gain over for MVKs and still trying to push on through. Block on the tick over at disrespecting the cancel out with the light fleeing spark. So he pushing on through one and anti here and still gonna be able to get the knockout with the mantra wheel. Oh. Not too much of an OVC, it's and bowing out of the crooked pressure over with the H fleeing spark. Rude Nation off of the Spiral Spear to get a bit more damage, damage over with the chip. Rock Shasta out, catching the crossover. And now the life lead is over towards Spire Zed. Definitely on for Deck Tall. And Tierra with the Venus Spiral Spear once more. Good knockdown. Is he quick comfortable? Knockdown. Uh, tried to bail out the Fleet Spark there. Crept over. Will he spend it out? No. Goes with full seeds and able to get the full light train as well. Looked a bit far. Spot dodge. Whoa! Close. Oh. Yes, as you see, Shivy back, ready to respond to the overdrive startup. And spot that close heavy to push it out. MBK out here reading tomorrow's newspaper so yes, far. Yes, that was a great reaction by MBK. Ready to get on through. You see, pushing on what a trade out. Still a favorite spider here, catching the approach out for the rock shots that cross over. Heavy crooked, caught on the move, and the crouch confirmed as well. Maybe wanted to dial into it, but spider gonna bow out with it, calling out his BD attempt over with the rushdown sequence. H League Spark to push out. And he's just choosing to go back into the safe space to space out with the spiral speed and the rock shots. And we haven't seen any full approach out to it. What an interrupt on that 5H. Yet again, crossover yet again over in the wake of Fusion just rejected out for it. Rush down over on both sides. Full weight onto it. Just go for the other combo. Notori out. Knew that he needs an at least another solid hit to kill out. But hotel. The Sago check it right into it. Asmodeus for the frame kill. Caught him trying to check him on the setup. And off of that, meaty. Two to one, this time in favor of MBK. Yep. And another uh, character swap. Are we seeing a character swap from Senpai? Senpai time? Spider going for... I wonder which character he's going, going for swap Belial. He's Hi, Pocky. How's character. one of my favorite Ram players? He's a man who plays many characters. Andre Matera. Okay. <laughs> Dang, who would have seen that coming? 
He went from heads to tails. Oh no, visitor, that's awful. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. That's like the worst thing I've read in a long time. Can I can I creepy pasta that? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone time. Why <laughs> flew into my beer? <laughs> yeah, I drank his fan out. All of a sudden, hyper realistic blood started seeping out from it. <laughs> And then everyone <laughs> clapped. I don't know if I should be disgusted or freaked out by what I just read. <laughs> Both is I fine. Guess, yeah. I didn't match the significant life lead over for MVK. Reset back with the media tutorial. We're able to recover in time, but not quite ready to spot dodge it out. Late 2 H can be working on through. Look at the damage out for it. I just see the media great fall to lock it down. I may jump on the CR reset, though, and that's MVK putting himself on set point. Yep. Oh, dear. Senpai's got to get it in gear. Arrow done by MVK to see the butterflies and immediately 5H, not giving them any chance to set that up. 2H up, double seal proc, not even to get too much there besides a bit of, sh besides a bit of chip off of that seal sequence. Meter gain is available to use on rushdown in case he wants to get engage in a faraway sequence to push him out. As Spider is being pushed in towards the corner very slowly. There it is, able to catch him out here. We'll cycle out. We see Notoria for the art knockdown. Cycle it back out. Just a bit more time, and he will have Goisha back up. We see push back out with EOD. And yet again, 2H attempt stuffed over with the Zephyr JL. Walk back to try and bait up the Notoria here. And the AF Star going to be able to clip him out trying to move. If to the throw, meter is on deck for MVK. He's going to have to deal with all the chip oh. from the OD. He's going to get that 2H this time around, and we're just going to immediately right into the end of Genesis. Yes, Full animation, are. and that's going to be more than enough. That's, to yeah. Close out the set 3 to 1. Very well played by MVK. Yeah. So, Tommy is. I have a question for you. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. I actually don't know the answer to this, but can Belial use his counter against Overdrive? Mm, that is an interaction I haven't uh, messed around with myself. Yeah. Are you um, talking about give daddy some sugar, work? right? Because I was about to ask that same question. Yeah, because I, I don't know if that works. I don't know if other counters would even work uh, in that situation. We were talking about that last week, weren't we? I don't know. Were we? No, we, we didn't oh. talk about it. The thing is, we didn't talk about it at all last week. No, we talked about some really some really about. weird hypothetical situations about uh, about yeah. uh, burst and whatever. But yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna say if, 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 okay, there's, so if there's yeah, if there's there is even it's Zeta? like even, okay. even so, if it's a mid because it's like overdrive, they probably wanted to give it like an all encompassing like like an almighty like uh, property. Yeah, like Persona. It. Okay. Look, yeah. Zeta doesn't have a parry. She just has armor. So her armor fails. Like how you sound I'm like you're sad. complaining about it. <laughs> right? I am. <laughs> she just has armor. It's just armor. I don't have no parry. What's a parry? <laughs> yeah, I also want to test that. Because I haven't tested that with Charlotta. I don't think it would work. Because nine times out of ten, Charlotta doesn't work. And if they're invincible, then Charlotta's just going to whiff anyway. Right. Parries fail. Even Zeta didn't try Belial's assume. Hmm, Got to test it. You're right. It's armor. Elden Ring can teach you to parry. Yeah, they can teach no, you. It's not typically true. worth the worth the effort. <laughs> oh, I would parry when Dude. you have a perfectly good fast roll. Yeah. No, why that's a game you... that did teach me how to parry, and you'll be surprised at what game. Why parry when you have a perfectly good giant mace? <laughs> yeah, why true. parry when you can jump attack and have poise of ten squillion? Exactly. <laughs> Elden Ring teach me to teach it. No, I was playing a game. I believe none of y'all heard before. I was playing no, game. No straight words. <laughs> then I got no called. Roads. They say on phone, and... Club Penguin is kill. <gasps> no! Oh my god, no. <laughs> Not Club Penguin. My Club Penguin account! No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I thought keep... they closed it a while back. Like... They, it, it, it went down and then some, I think it got bought by some real shady company and then it went down oh. again. Speaking of things that went down, Okay, I wish I could have phrased that better. Yes. <laughs> I wish I could have phrased that better, but can we can we give a nice fair salute to Internet Explorer? No, no, no 07s it, for Internet enough. Explorer. Fair enough. <laughs> Internet Explorer is officially dead. <laughs> yep, officially. Oh. Okay, I just tested it. Yeah, give Daddy some sugar does actually uh, work against mm -hmm. the overdrive. Really? Really? So who's that? That's like, the walking counter, right? 
Yep, that's the walking character. Okay. Can you check Charlotta for me? I'm just very curious. So, I have uh, no faith it, in it working at all. Because, like, I, I know it, armor would fail because it's armor. It's not a parry. I mean, it doesn't have to be a parry. It just needs to absorb one hit. Okay. So, yeah, I'll it doesn't seem to work there. I'll <laughs> test it out with Yeah, it doesn't. Because it... I think it makes makes sense there. Because the thing, the thing is, it's like uh, Apple had said earlier that it doesn't work against Yule's uh, third stance, uh, third dance stance. It's meant <laughs> to counter mids, projectile. but so it could be it could be treated as a projectile. Da -da -da -da. Head on, mm -hmm. apply directly because, to the forehead. Uh, Head on, apply I mean, directly any, to the any, forehead. Any parry hit it work, yeah. works like right to the forehead. So now like, I'm I, I, just try, I just tried uh, Lowane's come at me, bro, and that works against the overdrive too. Oh. Oh, counters work. So now I'm trying to figure out like if but armor does work, not. But, like if like so if, Vaz, like, Vaz is out for trying armor. to counter it. So okay. Vaz and Rocka can actually straight up bait it super hard. Yeah. Uh, Respect. Yeah. One second. Not 100 on it, but go right back into it. MBK uncounter. We still going up. We push right into grand final. See, so reset it back. Choosing to stick out with the Uno. Now he's playing, he's gonna play it a bit more aggressively as you guys can see. Catching out the spot dodge with the 5H here, too far off for the wall bounce with the Spire of the Spirit. But he you know, locked down with a good life lead. Choosing to back shift out, actually trying to play full screen game over the Rapshasha this time, but whipping up, throwing the 2H Spectro dive. Go looking plus onto it. As we see 5H Spectro dive out. I like that cute little jab that <laughs> Uno's got. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> eh. I'm a poke you, sonny! I'm a poke you! That's what kids do on the Facebook, right? Poke each other. I'll do it too. <laughs> Uno's an Eternal, right? Yeah, he's an Eternal. Like a Marvel's Eternal? Oh, get him out of here. Oh, that movie's awesome. We don't talk about that movie. Here. We have to. It's phase four. <laughs> The kind of moving around both sides here. Caught out with the rock and spent here. Face marked to bow out. He's going to be able to escape the situation. No punish going on. Lock for, for dead here. But MK is locked down in towards the corner. The Spence, Naughty Oda again. Going to be a link on through this time. Spectral dive too high to the ground to get a follow up with the close light here. Yet again here. Caught out of the whip. Just a ton of damage out. And caught him out. He's going to have to deal with the ILO. No crossover yet again here. <laughs> Trying to disrespect him out this course. He's two for two on those. And we see the overdrive over at Cats and pushed out. Jump in, punish. Oh, H just is carried out. Has the H fling spark here as you see. Jump in, go swing to delay him out. So then what a response over to the crossover. Over. And we see 5H with punish over. Win to the Trom for game one. All right. Seems like uh, Cats all warmed up. The cat's out of the bag, man. Ready to go. Well, you know what they say, MBK. There's more than one way to skin a cat in Fairy Three. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. That is what they say. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Uh, no visitor, I'm I'm, I'm. I've already got my ticket for Love and Thunder. No, I need to get my ticket for Love and Thunder, or I can Love just and wait Thunder. for it to come on. Disney and I've already Plus. seen the new Dragon Ball movie, so you know. Wait, there's a new one? Yeah. Yeah, superhero. Oh, the time ones? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. First strike's in, and he's just using to go out for the damage with the whip of good. Follow up on the Gispense. Too far off for the Trom, and clicked over with that low hitting 2U. But still, so he gave for the life lead over. Oh, got the Beppo there. Definitely wanted the Gispense, but still not too much of a punish out for him. And able to catch up the Fleek Spark here. No sequence out. Double low. Finally calling him out for those crossovers. And we see ourselves we're gifted out. Push out into the corner. Not even need it, just auto combo right into the medium Beppo to take round one. It's just over back and forth. MBK is still fairly comfortable here. Crossover on the spectral dive. Spence not crossed over, but it will be spot dodged. Pull down his spent out for it. No, no cap. Looking for a way to go in. Mixing of the times over with the GG call, forcing MBK back a tiny bit, but caught out the whip. Not link it over into the Light Rock Shasta though. But could go over and anti airing out with oh. the Rakshasa. And this time with a 2H, a ton of damage. 2H over the close H starter here. Cat still remaining patient over with the Beppo reversal. As MBK are changing back just soon to take out on the life lead. Crouch good for him off of that Spectral dive too late over in the anti air. So he's shooting back, push right on through. What's the thing? So crossed over into the other side. MBK still ready to block it all out though. A good 
decent amount of chunk of chip, but still at a deficit here. Spice here over to the nation. Caught out already to convert that 5H over into the Astra land. Yep. Okay, so MBK still has a fighting chance in this thing. Another round ties it up. He does, as you see. Still, a lot of H is over for it. Not too much action, just trying to feel each other out. Yes, again, with these cancels. And we see Dispense clashing out with the Runation, trying to go in with it and try to go for the throw bait. But MBK ready to mash him out and ready to bait him out with that shimmy, too. No Beppo use corner yet. Very patient with it. No spot dodge cats. Negative onto the mantra. We'll avoid a jump in. Clash on that scenario in favor of MBK keeping. Cat locked down. With the fleeing spark to catch out that frame trap cancel. Staggering back over into the light. 5M interrupt. The Skiri needs crossover to the other side. Oh, wow. Ooh, super jump to balance the situation. Not really too much more, but escaped out of the corner. Game more chip coming underway. We'll be close enough to start using the SSPA. Oh, what a duck over the rock shots. A punish out into it, but didn't go into the full auto combo to cancel into the Trom. Doubling out for both sides. GG gonna be able to work on through. And oh, Air gonna wow. be the only got through for a gift <laughs> coming up. Is that gonna be enough to kill? It starts a bit wonky here. We see Trauma for it. 5 H, and that's gonna be it. For I game two. I cannot believe that, that was a cat and parry threesome was ready for that. That was a beautiful transition. That was absolutely wonderful. Great confirm. Great, like, and, and I know you have to time when you let go of GG, otherwise it activates automatically. But if, if that was a manual timing, then. Cat was super ready for that. And, and the confirm off of it was absolutely wonderful. Very well done. 10 out of 10. Would confirm again. Yes. Would confirm again? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, NBK's Wild versus Fairy. Bro, we're, we're just running the spectrum. Let's just go through all the characters. All Let's the like characters. Let's go! Now, I don't know how this matchup actually goes. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, having, I'm excited Ooh. to see how it goes. It's going to go nowhere oh, if uh, MBK keeps getting shut down it like that. It should be in Delisle's favor because of um, give Daddy some sugar and his fireballs. But, um... True. I don't know what we're going for. But damage is definitely one here. So, see, wait to the cash out. No. Saving out for, for one more solid hit, or maybe for a rush confirm as well. Might not even need it as it clipped over with the overhead save jump. Okay. Well, I mean, this, I would probably categorize uh, Belial as MBK's main, so I wouldn't be surprised he does has the best results with him. Right into it though. Oh, back caught on grab, but just a bit out of range for that 2H spot dodge. Not quite locked down over with the GG, but we see he. Spectral die for the plus frames. And the laying of the signs looking out for the notorious here and duck it right under that Goisha. Yeah. Goisha does have a bit of a higher profile that you can go under compared to other projectiles. Ooh. As you see, Light Beppo over for the anti air. You're nice to show you actually trading out with the spectral dive. We're back in towards the neutral situation. In favor of MBK with the corner positioning, but treating back in towards the mid screen. What a counter here, curve from off of that trade. We see H Crooked back in towards the corner, but getting stuffed over with all these mids trying to press forward. H Beppo out. Now more than comfortable. We see the forgift in here. Oh, super mm. jump still. Floaty Cat enough to Fairy. land and actually punish. Can Fay with a dominant performance in that round. Back to dive here. Alright, on to a lock. Goisha for the first strikes coming over. Catch on the spot dodge with the 2U. You're just going for a simple knockdown. Tried to throw, but Beppo does an I mean, it here. You guys should do a spot dodge out for it. Right, MBK choosing very spectral of it. We see Tromp to push out back in towards the full screen. HGG burned out. So we see Gaspens coming over for it. 2U going right under the 5M. They see medium crooked coming in clutch to interrupt down the ghost swing. Counter confirmed, saving out. On the Asmodeus, just using for the soft knockdown on the corner carry to push on through. 2M Ooh. up, run up, caught out with the OD though. Same thing with that spot dodge on the 5H here. Notorio here couldn't get the punish onto it, the 5H off of the crossover, but still, they're gonna life lead slowly chipping away at MBK. Has to be careful with one solid whiff punch over into the SSB. It might be more than enough to do it here. One tick of the OD is gone here. Now he just needs a couple more solid hits to stuff it out. Slowly getting chipped away out for it. Punish on to the Dev. And MBK gets on the board in Grand Finals. Great from MBK. Still, Cat and is showing a lot of great defense, stuffing out MBK whatever they can, and it's working. But MBK is just getting those solid hits that are just converting into more damage. 
Yeah, so I still have to be worried about the what an anti here here. Medium ass Modius to try and get as much damage as well. Fire back up for the lights. No Beppo on defense quite yet. Can I remain patient, but stuffed over on that frame trap attempt up into it though. Missing out over that link, not a crouch confirm, so two I'm not gonna be able to link on them through. And you see Cat gonna be able to push out back in towards the mid screen. Trom with on it. I see another catch into it. Crouch confirm out. Saving out on both SBA and the Asmodeus delay. Overdrive coming in clutch to catch out on BK's delay. That can be close enough for it. Yes, it is off of that 2 0 lake. What a, a mass that check. That looks really far. Yeah. Crouching does leave you a little bit closer in terms of like uh, pushback. So, fortunately, the Legemitan was able to hit there. But now MDK looking to see how they're back onto it though. 2 H coming in clutch for cats and here. So give that some sugar. Actually gonna be able to clear it out in time, but no whiff punch due to the recovery over the, the, the dive kick. MBK trying to push on through and keep it up. Caught over with the low. No full conversion off of that hit. We see another jump in punish on a normal that attempt. Gonna be able to push out a bit more with that Trom. Wanna catch over, but too far to get the catch confirm over with that 2M into Gespence. And the H Beppo just keeping it pragmatic over with the anterior attempt at that angle. I see you back in towards the full screen. Cat with a life lead, but I could change that into a hat with one solid hit from MBK into another sequence. Okay, slowly jumping away after him, caught on the movement, and just choosing to go for the hard knockdown and damage with the whip. It good. Slowly jumping away after him, MBK very patient, just looking for a way to get out for a clash on the projectiles. As we see MBK trying to force his way on through. Cat trying to keep him out, trying to guess as well. Too far away to get that 5 H Croatia and unfortunate stuff over for MBK. But as Cat still maintaining on the lead full screen, not going to be able to do too much. And he's going to be able to pop the same as a result of it. So now both sides are just looking for solid hits. We still have plenty of time left on the table. Just a little over 25 seconds, but you're going to be able to find that Ooh. hit yet again off of the Goisha Crooked follow-up. 2 well and a Genesis. I really like MBK using OD immediately just to, just to throw away the possibility that Chip was even an option and maybe he just had to get a solid hit. Yeah. And since they were directly at full screen, hard for Cat to recognize it and get the full run up to try and get a 5-8. See, jump in to catch out the whip ground normal. Stare back over with the light. Don't let back out. H crooked off of the Goisha. Jump in. Clipped him over, but too far off to get any sort of follow up. We see counter confirm off of that 2F. We're just going to go right to the to So much damage off of this. And that's going to be it for battle one. Perfect under his belt as well. Oof. All right. MBK just turning it on. Full force, baby. Is it DD? Let's see if he's gonna be able to bring it back and clutch out the set, or if MBK is gonna take it over to a reset. I don't know. Both sides are still looking good. Without even trading out on blows here with the projectiles and then the normals. Both sides are just looking for one decisive hit. Anti air respected over on that block 2H. Ghost Wing still to recover in time to block out that crooked follow up. H Spence not able to hit our raw. Good. They just try and keep it locked down both the ground and the air. A oh, one crossover still gonna be able to actually punish the recovery on that normal from Fairy. Now we're locked oh. down. No overdrive to get out of that scenario here. MBK remain patient over with it. But we see close heavy crushing out that jump in from afar. I want to catch over, but just not gonna be able to get too much more from it. Solid 12 minute damage and putting another tick off for one more solid hit. And there's the OD. Significant disadvantage over for Cat now having to deal with the chip on the Goishas. You see, oh. trying to push on through, but that to you, allowing for the reset. All right. AJ going, it was just a character issue. Now things are going smooth sailing. We're back on track. <laughs> was it, was it though? It was all an act, a charade, a facade, if you will. You may have been lied to. You may have been, you may have been fibbed. Possibly oh, bamboozled. Say, or dare I say, let us stray. Yeah. I'm say, like, go and Never mind. I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and talk about the, uh, the Give Daddy Shafira because he's been doing a fantastic job calling those out, walking under, punishing it out, eating it back out with a reversal to push right into the HGG. Cat is doing a great <laughs> job at countering the parry as well. Woo. This time around over in that anterior scenario. But. I'll see if MBK is going to be able to keep himself locked down in the corner. Ante air if you trolls. Asmodeus out. Oh, we see the Justin and Notoria. No, he's going to go for a full cash out. Like Notoria, great amount of damage off of that conversion. And just the H Notoria to catch up the jump and recognize that it wasn't quite a safe jump as we see here. 
I confirm out, no clean hit off of the legitimate but still a knockdown to push out from corner to corner. Overdrive, this could be what he needs to get back over to the game, not dealing with the chip. Spectral dive kick and chomp for a bit more chip. And they jump it. Solid anti over air to finish the round out. ESG. to do it yet again. Dispense H, GG pushing on through with punish on the 5H with his own. I see medium crooked coming in clutch. Kyle to move it. It's gonna go right into the S. Bodies run up, throw, jump back to avoid out, but not gonna be able to get a punish over from that timing. Still locked down in towards the corner, but 2H. And we go get him locked down. Knocked down over with the whip. It. Good. Not gonna be able to push on through in the GG fortunately for MBK, but Cat is gonna be able to escape back in towards the mid screen with meter on deck to use as well. What a whiff onto the special deck and that's gonna be what they need. Crouch confirm over to the ES and we're just gonna choose the back shift out. Gift dash of sugar, not able to catch out the door that time around, just a bit too quick on the trigger. They had a decent amount of damage. Meaty up here. Tried to go for the instant over at the range, but just a bit too far. Try to avoid on the Notoria with that jump back. I see the Notoria come out. I'm sure he didn't want that over for the neutral. Or maybe he didn't try and catch it at normal, regardless. That is cat taking game one. Mm-hmm. Oh, and back up for a trade on the projectile on the normal yet again. Go swing to delay it up, but still here to catch him out with a second to it. Do it out yet again, catching out the spot dodge with the H crooked set. And push it right into the corner. Counter confirmed just a hair off, but disrespecting the negative phrase over the tutorial. I'm keeping you locked down here. Cycling back over for a reset of back with the Goisha here. H crooked just a bit too late to recognize it. It, as you see, combo right into the GG. Medium Beppo for good checking damage. And gonna be able to safely pop overdrive from that. Spectro dive kick still plus onto it. Wall bounce with the Tromp. Yes, he will. Here into we go. the record. Yeah. Not enough to kill. No clean hit over from that range. Uh -huh. GG <laughs> GG with the cross <laughs> up. <laughs> GG with her claws. Interrupt down in the crook, a great conversion over with that medium buff, but fortunately for MVK, Cat not ready to catch about to link out into the into the GG as we see. Chetty and the spat on both. Rush down there was on the late and PD caught out the back dash with that 5H. And jumping gonna be able to get a little bit more of special cancel off of as he reset back. No air and vulnerable setup as you see the Beppo to try and bow out. MVK is only gonna be able to get a small punish over with that 2 you Cat's still able to escape on that scenario though. What a crush on that to you with that JU. I'm pretty much expecting that. Regardless, gonna get a bit of damage as the back shift to escape off of the crooked pressure. Go swing out. Yeah. Caught him onto the other side. Crossover on the dispense. Doesn't choose to go for the 5-8 to try and punish it off of that cancel though. You see, double it up. Is that too high for the Anagenesis? No, still gonna be able to work on it's through one. never too high for that. <laughs> <laughs> That thing might as well have Charlotte's SSB hitbox. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> You'd be surprised, but that is him tying up the round count here on game two. Yep. We'll see who's going to be able to take it down. Zero room for it. MBK, on stuff to get on the board. Our cat pushing the lead even further with a 2 0. We'll see who's going to be able to get it going out here. Advantage is towards MBK. As I say, that crouch confirm over and just shooting the push back in towards the mid screen. What a run up. Very brave one with that run speed over on very side. MBK ready to check him out over with the lights. Double spectral dive here. Walk back 5H. Asmodeus will we be able to get close to Yes, he is. Let Javits said, Oh. And boom. Great Adam defense Mike. from MBK leading into the win. Yep. Still playing patiently despite, you know, taking a gamble on all <laughs> those air dives. He just waited it out and then just took it slow and got his, got his win. Counter confirm word against Fence to start us off with the weapon good farm. And the up here, fortunately, just a bit too low to the ground, got the tech instead of a possible air reset or a link into the GG. So pushing on through medium trom, not choosing to challenge out the gap that is in between. Locked down, got the air and block will set up this time around. Back in towards the mid screen, two in pressure up. Basically, reset it back in towards the neutral. Trade onto it, still in favor of Cat with the HP lead. See, trade onto it yet again with the Goisha and the 5H. What a whiff punish on that to you with his own. Get a chip going over with the GG. Meter is on deck for both sides. So you cross over to the side, mm. caught him with the 2F. Overdrive. Oh, Tom actually out connected. And the trauma. Didn't have the expense out to work with. Chip out. Will we see the rear from thrown up for the neutral? No, just a raw chip out since they're still on OD with that 5H. Yeah. See, I was right there with you, Spiral. I was like, just through the super and then put him in a checkmate scenario. 
regardless, I still got the OD. And no problem for me. What a catch over with the fuzzy JU and baiting out the Notorio. H. Spento still has a DP yet again. Knew that he only used the light, so he'd be able to bow into it a second time. What a sequence. And we got ourselves a significant life lead to work through for Katza. And we should spin trading on through air to air and MBK Sayer back shift to get off of that air reset sequence. Too far out to get anything going. Good awareness over on MBK on that situation. Even 2L might not be able to link on through. So you didn't catch up here. But Cat ready to respond back on defense with a spot dodge. Instant overhead. Meter gate. No way to have the light pepper. I'm not sure what's going on there. But still push it on through. Line ball to try and chip out. But OD to respond back to the overdrive there. I guess Spencer in the cancel. Not shooting the crossover onto it quite yet. Doesn't have to worry about the chip. We see crossover, not gonna be able to work on through afterwards. 5H stuffing him out. Yep. Alright. There's two. Alright, we'll see if MBK is gonna be able to pull off another comeback. Or if Cat's gonna be able to they get on back. Minotaur on here trying to just check it out. No punish on the H crook gets set, but still gonna be able to get a good amount of chip off of those strong cancels. Uh, GG go swing today to delay it up. 5M not gonna be able to get too much of from that range, but Trump catching out that 5A. GG for a bit more chip here. They see counter confirmed, got the single hit on the spectral dive, so more than guaranteed for a run of overdrive. Plus off lock off for it, but just a raw jump in coming in clutch over from MVK. Uh -oh. Check out spectral dive, crept over with the Trump. H out for another frame trap. See, I was just talking about this before, how if you're winning, it, it's not a comeback mechanic, it's just a win more mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it to be fair, I guess so if you're well. winning that hard, there's really nothing. <laughs> nothing was really getting in your way anyway. <laughs> and great awareness over on that spectro die from MVK, punishing it even on hit. Airy plays still have to be careful with the heights that she, she chooses to do it. We see backship ready to catch it out. Still a big gamble for it. And what a delay on that reset. Could have just linked it in the light auto but just wanted one more sequence to guarantee the kill there. But would it have been as cool as that spiral? <laughs> Never. <laughs> I guess not, but as a result, tied up. The baby got a bit of a bit more damage in there. Go swing to delay it out though. Try to go for it. Try to mix up the options and go for the air throw, but a bit too high up and a bit too early as well. 5H coming in. Clutch but missing out on that 2L link. Unfortunate stuff for MBK doesn't have both, but got our knockdown here. We see here. Still Nova Saga is trying to be a bit more careful with using the command grab. We'll see if he's gonna be able to bust it out towards the latter half of this set. He pushing that dude, caught out trying to move, but misconfirm. Going for the standing confirm instead of the crouching confirm off of the Goisha. Cat's gonna get another chance to survive and push out in towards the corner. Run up out, double back over with the overdrive. He's checking damage to get it out. And still has the two sequences. That was stuffed over for it, missed the confirm. Got the Goisha instead of the Legemitan. Easy input and give him another chance. Actually oh, nailed it. From Sugar here, tick over here to try and steal back on the round. Oh. What a Should we have to get this crowd? So clean, no animation. Yeah, no animation for that range, but one touch area into it. Spectro dive here, not gonna be a workout too. Couldn't <laughs> <laughs> that was a huge Okay, that, I can't say it was a huge gamble for MBK, because either he did it and it and she blocked it and he was dead, or it comboed and he was dead either way. So he, he might as well go out in a blaze of glory, you know? <laughs> He has good stuff onto it though, and he's keeping up that aggression too, disrespecting the negative frames off to give Addy some sugar, whip that light Notoria, push it on through, and this could be the moment he needs to take the set. Each Notoria out there, safe jump out, combo over with the low. HGG still able to interrupt him with the hit. Iron ball, I'm not sure you wanted that as opposed to the two you here. Air to air in his favor, overdrive, gonna stuff him over, still gonna be able to block it out in time. Two M up, and just shooting yeah. it out early with the record spat. Even things out. For sure, for sure. <laughs> we push on through. 5M for a bit. Spectral dive. Definitely negative on hit though. Allowed MBK to go for the delay spectral situation. And full weight on the Beppo as well. <laughs> so right there, MBK got hit by it, kind of hit, knew it was too high. And instead of DPing like he did last time, he decided to go for the throw, knowing that Catherine was going to block this. Yeah, great cycling over on both sides, adapting to the situations, but MBK still able to get one leg up on the round. We'll see if he's going to be able to take it further past the reset. anti area over for your troubles, though, with a good sequence down to the GG. Walk up into instant over, it's still over now, but no punish on the 5 and unfortunate stuff, but the spent out yet again. Push out into the corner, lock down for a bit more chip. And you see, Trong out. 
That fell out. One of the Gaspens there, but didn't quite get it. Still out of safe range to safely whiff it. What an anti arrow with that 5 H. No can't tell it to anything. But still came out of lockdown. What a catch over with that low, though. Mm -hmm. Let's we'll right. reversal and try to shimmy back. Final round. Tournament point for both sides. Are you out for it though? We see the Goisha coming out. No trade on the projectiles. Great. H Cook is getting out the first strike though. Two you up. Trom, no whiff much onto it. Light Beppo for the anti here. HGG. Just choosing to parry it out though. No full response over for Cat. We see the crouch confirm coming out to it. Just showing right into the H Trom instead of like a Spence crouch confirm. Pushing out over into the corner. Corner catch over. Still gonna be able to get that 5 H in the Asmodis. And we're back in towards the mid screen here. Back shift out. Able to catch out the throw. And Kajin up trying to press forward as well with a bunch of pokes here. Now it's a pretty good life lead in favor of Cat. Building up the meter as well with that medium trunk. All the specialists coming in close. HGG couldn't quite get the instant oh, ready to block it. Oh, well, you see the ver gifted. Yes, we will. That should be more than enough to kill if he's not on the link. Mm. Just the raw H Beppo that gets full confirmed. A shimmy. That mm. shimmy was filthy. That was a great reason to end there by Cat and Fairy. Well done to bring that home, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but not a lot onto the mental stack there. Not too many throws that we had seen in that set on on Cat's side. So the one time he just tried to bait him out and look for a defensive response, he able to catch out the throw ticket attempt and close it out from there. Oh, yeah. And not to mention, the neutral that we were seeing was really on point. MBK was running into a lot of fairies normals, which is what fairy wants to have happen. She wants to put normals out there and let you slowly whittle yourself down. And that's exactly what happened. And very well played. He played to it. And once he got to the end, he went for the throw, knew that it would kill, and then just faked it. Mm -hmm. Just get that really hard read. <laughs> Look at SSK. Oh, Yo, Yo Steve! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is good, though. Why is everyone playing under pseudonyms these days? Because we want to play. No, I still play. Because we want to hide. I guess. Yeah. Hide in plain sight. Or, like, oh, oh, oh. Or, or people are avoiding them because they are who they are, so they have to change their name. That is true. Uh, do I have some highlight videos? I do, as a matter of fact. In fact, I still need to put some new ones together. I might actually be able to take a shot at it, shot at it this weekend. Yay! Uh, finally, you get to see my name. <laughs> but we always get to see your name, Jim. It. It's right there on the screen. It's glowing! Hey, it's glowing. I... I promised no timetable. I just said it would be on the next one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been waiting four weeks for this. Oh, down. Let's see. Uh, so MBK was 3-2 in that first one. And mm -hmm. then, yeah, 2-3 in the second. Very boop, great. Boop, bop, bop, grand bop. finals set, though. That was a fantastic grand finals. Uh, thank you, Rowlet, for pimp for no, for pimping me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rowlet, for pimping me. Uh, no, we, we can we can do this. We can do it better. Hey, hey, yeah. hey! I have a question. Hey, Spiral, I have a question for you. Um, uh, yeah. there's a word I can't. There's a word that's been on my mind all day, and I can't remember. It, it starts with an S and and rhymes with subscribe. <laughs> I see, I see. I, That's a hard one, man. Idea. That's I I, fucking wordle idea. shit you're bringing yeah. up. In. Yeah, right? I, can't, I, I just can't place it. Do you guys recognize it anywhere? Ooh, I think... Mm, I can't uh, find it anywhere. What do you... Oh, it just came to me! Maybe it's... Subscribe. <gasps> oh, oh, anyway. Bro, you bro you're so smart. On YouTube, or you can subscribe <laughs> to him here on Twitch, where you can support him and the things he d does. Either way, you're adding, you're supporting this man and all that he does. If you don't want to support him by subscribing, then by all means, drop a follow, like the videos, leave a comment to let him know that you like what he's doing. Hit the bell. I thought you were going to be, I thought you were going to be way more mean with it. <laughs> if you, if you, <laughs> no. you know, if you don't subscribe, you don't like what he's doing, then I, fuck you. No, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. The thought crossed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> The thought definitely crossed my mind for more than a second, <laughs> and I hard pivoted away from that. <laughs> uh, oh, sick wave. Well, that's not getting hasty now. <laughs> actually, you know what? I think you still have uh, some some sponsor quest money in your uh, in your account there, uh, Cryptic. I think if folks uh, subscribe to you, it'll actually add money to the prize pool here. 
Wait, really? <laughs> I, I think I think yeah, there's like ten dollars left. Yeah. Yo, you guys should do that. <laughs> that sounds like a baller idea. Are you kidding? Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I well, get that. Okay, I get a little bit of the money, but I guess I, I mean there's still money to be had yeah. for the players who played. Exactly. Um, I have finalized the bracket, by the way. So let's go and take a look. Whoop, whoop. Fingers crossed, I got the information right. <laughs> All right. All right. First on the place front page. this evening. Who's on the front page? Not you. I didn't play tonight. Coming in first so place did. tonight, Cat and Fairy threesome. <laughs> Six and one record. Second place, MBK will meme on you. <laughs> Five and two. Then we have plain old senpai spider. <laughs> Followed oh, by uh, crazy dog went fourth. Things. Master Chipmunk. Master Chipmunk in top eight. Master Chipmunk with the crazy good night. Nah, the bigger thing that I want to talk about. Master Chipmunk tying with zombie moves. Tying moves. with zombie moves. Of the of the combo breaker zombie moves. <laughs> that is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we got Alderaan Wolfbane in seventh. BG Callisto getting into the top eight as well. And uh, the wind coming in uh, top of the ninth. With uh, Chunko, Fuselet, 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 I put in top four. <laughs> hey, that just shows that, that just goes to show how great people are at this game. How quickly people are leveling up. Mm. Uh, Akai Suise coming in ninth as well. Then uh, down we got uh, Wonderful Deluxe, Kudro, Uber Cheesecake, and Lennox all in thirteenth place. And then if we expand out. Uh, we got Diamond Dust, Gemix, Cast, and Nickel, Professor Necotech, Terrible Choices, Trey Bro, uh, sorry, Trey Taro, and Yishtola Bussy Fan. Oh my god. That's Seth Series! That is Seth Series. <laughs> so many you buy names tonight. I love, yeah. how, I, love how, I love how Seth Series is in last place with a win. And the person who's above him has two losses. Yeah, we didn't get to see much out of Trey Taro. Uh, Trey Taro, if you're still watching, uh, come back. If you come back next week, we'll 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 keep an eye over your shoulder. Get it, get you in a stream match. Trey Taro, I promise you, I promise you, I will throw so they can watch you play. You don't have to throw. Don't, so you don't, don't throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to. He'll just win. Yeah. Did you not see me last week? No, I didn't. No. Oh yeah. I didn't watch pools. Yeah. I I. I somehow beat whoever I I don't know how I beat corn. I really don't know how I beat corn. Yeah, but is that a, is that really a feat though? <laughs> I mean, I am flaming everyone yeah. right now. You, you, you <laughs> beat a TO. That's not like, you know. No, you guys know I don't play this game often. I don't play any game often anymore. So like for me to beat him, I'm like Ooh, what the hell did happen? It's all right, Jim. We know you're out here trying your best. <laughs> what? No. Hey, big thanks, by the way, to the folks who contributed this evening. A wild chaka bro uh, threw in five bucks. Alderon Wolfbane did a, did a sponsor quest by following Diaphany. Uh, same yeah. for Jim. Uh, so big thanks. Uh, yeah, big thanks there, guys. And, uh, yeah, yeah, big thank you to everybody on. who came out to watch hold and on. enjoy the stream with us. Uh, Wait. We had a big show? raid from Zombie. Uh, mm -hmm. We got new followers and from uh, Aliette Fay, Wonderful Deluxe, Neo Ice Cream, uh, Zingier Cube 956, and DFA Cross no. Calamity. So thank you so much. I spelled it wrong. What'd Again. You, what'd you spell wrong? Maturino. We all know I can't spell. How can you not spell such a complex Machar, word? Machar, 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 <laughs> By the way, may, may, may I do a quick shill? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's 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 roughly shill time. All right, we got Shining Onslaught twenty five coming up this weekend. Twenty five. That's a huge number. It, it is. It's not as big as 85, but you've always been bigger than me. So that's why I, 
<laughs> so that's why I'm excited to bring the 25th Shining Onslaught to you guys. It's going to be a big, big event, hopefully. And you guys should totally uh, should don't enter at it. Yeah, fair. The, but you guys, but for those of you who don't want to listen to the Narmaya Doomers, do, do you, you have any? Do you have any sponsors? Do you have any cool sponsors for your Shining Onslaught Twenty Five? Uh, actually, yes, I do have a cool sponsor. His name is me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should totally come by, and uh, yeah, support the support the game. I'll put some links into the. The, the thing with the, with the yes. people that have the, the voices and, that and, we and read but don't hear. It's PS4 format, just for anybody who's unfamiliar with the uh, the Shining On Slot series. What's PS4 format? It's not PC, it's PS4, right? No, it's, it's PC. PC. It is PC? I thought it was PS4. Yeah. I, I do not have my PS4 hooked up right now. Oh, I, I, everyone my was PS4 telling me you ran it on PS4 because this. your PC couldn't handle Granblue, and I was like, that's impossible. <laughs> My, my PS4 has not been connected since Summer Jam. <laughs> oh, wow. That was the last time I used my PS4. Uh, do I any, ever host DBFZ tourneys? Not under my own volition, but I will, of course, stream them if they are part of an event that I am asked to do for, like, you know, IRL or, you know, whatever else. Basically, if I outsource, then yes, I will I will do, I will host DBF, DBFZ. Um, but yeah, the regular the regular uh, schedule has been flashing across the bottom of your screen there all all evening. It's uh, Street Fighter Five on on Mondays, uh, Guilty Gear on Wednesdays, swapping between PSN and PC. Although I imagine PSN is probably going to be replaced with DNF Duel uh, when that comes out at the end of the month. And uh, oh, yeah, then yeah, GBVS on PC. What happens on Tuesday? Uh, what happens on Tuesday? Nothing? Free time? <laughs> Free time! Yay! Uh, but I'm still kind of debating, because I know DNF comes out on a Tuesday. So I'm like, I'm thinking about whether I want to run a special event that evening or just like... Nah, I say let it simmer. Let, let yeah, let it simmer a week and just run it on the PSN night on, on July 6th. Sounds like a plan. Because otherwise, I'd be preempting PC uh, Guilty Gear on the 29th, and I don't want to do that, considering those mm -hmm. folks actually show up. <laughs> I show up for the PSM one. Yeah, to talk. Three other people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, hey. But, yeah, thank you, everybody who was watching. Thank you, everybody who stuck around to the end. Very much appreciated. Uh, big thanks to the commentary crew. Who eventually slid in tonight? <laughs> yeah. Although, although big, big props to to Spiral Hero Z for jumping on the bullet nice and early this evening. <laughs> yeah, big up Spiral. <laughs> He's like a a, a commentaryless Grand Blue Fantasies versus stream not on my watch <laughs> as his name is he's a hero when we need it grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are we at B now? Are we at what? Match Arena. One million. Whoa! Dollars. Yeah, somebody just tossed ten bucks in there. Who was the nice person who did that? Oh, it's Jam. <laughs> We're still gonna make fun of you. Oh no! Yeah, that, that, that didn't save you. Yeah, you didn't. I know it doesn't save me. I'll you have to announce you bribes. <laughs> you know what? Uh, hey, hey, guys! Did you know that Jam? Um. Is, is, is a girl? <laughs> wow. No, so original. Got him. Did you know that Jem took Star Trek off of Netflix? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't do that to people. Yeah. Did you know that Jem is the reason that Master Chief got laid? <laughs> that sounds more like a compliment to me. Did you know that Jem is why Ryuguk looks like he does in, in the live action version of did you know that Death Jem note? is the reason that Ken's wife left him? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Happens, no. You're not going to do that to me either. You know why? Did you guys know that Jem is the reason the Fed is raising interest rates? Oh, God. I hate you all. Uh. Purchase from myself. Yay. <laughs> Did you take off know. Lost in the early two? No, Lost killed itself. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Gem you sank the him. Titanic. True. <laughs> Gem is the reason they're building a Titanic too. Gem sank the and Titanic and then she lot. flipped off Jack and Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Paddling by in a in a, in a solo solo occupancy rowboat. The thing is, I can see myself Gem, doing that too. Just just Gem pumping created. the double birds at Jack and Rose. Enjoy your Gem. door, losers. Jem created the original Sonic model from the Sonic live action movie. Oh, ugly Sonic. <laughs> yes. I want to. I, I want to kick you now, Cryptic, for even suggesting that. that one, oh, that one was the worst one. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Where is it? <laughs> okay. Well, it has been it has been a rough week here at, at old M MSM. <laughs> <laughs> Especially yesterday and a little bit of today. I'm glad we fixed the issue with the monitor. <laughs> yeah. 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 Have to have to stop blaming Steam for all my troubles. <laughs> no, I mean you can still do that. <laughs> but it all worked out. Oh, trust me, visitor. We we're being fairly nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. This is the nice part. This a is the nice we've been to her. Attributing historical disasters to to Jem is like one of the least the least mean <laughs> things right. we've ever done. No, there's worse. There there's so much we're worse. So mean to Jem, and she keeps coming back. <laughs> She, I have to imagine every time Matchstick Melee is like is both that night, she's like, another day to be abused. Whatever, dude. At this point, we just have to conclude that she's a masochist. On Thursday, <laughs> it's only this bad on Thursdays. See, Wednesdays is okay unless it's forty. Then I can just forty is just weird. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> he doesn't understand. Well, I don't. I don't have Thursday cryptic to play off of on Wednesdays. True. He only shows up on Wednesday, so he, he tries to make fun of me on Wednesdays. I'm like, no, 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 no. <gasps> Never, ever do that to me ever again. <laughs> that, nah. Now that, no, that, that one was me. No, no, that, one, nah, no was that one's crossing the line. <laughs> that that one, one was me. I did that one. <laughs> no, he had a bad crossing. juice incident. A bad what now? <laughs> juice. You know, the drink. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then his accent got things really, you know, it got well, things misconstrued. People started, like, getting angry. And then he wanted to backpedal out, but, like, he, he kept was saying, in too like, deep. I'm in too deep. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's like, I'm in too deep. I can't back out. I just have to. The only way out is to crash through to the other side. Here, here's what I have to say about that. This is why you don't let artists take political office. <laughs> because he's just standing there. <laughs> Standing there in art school going, I can't get to fucking please, I'll kill everyone in the world. <laughs> like, hey, D Adolf, you don't have to go that far. Here, look, let me show Shut you. up, Bob Ross. <laughs> You're not in charge of me. <laughs> uh, I want to team up with the anti-Bob Ross. What is Mussolini doing these days? <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> all right. We should wrap it up before this gets dangerous. <laughs> Worse. <laughs> I got people to pay out. Everyone has uh, sleep to get. You all have a sure, wonderful sure. evening. Thank you again for watching Matchstick Melee. We'll be back next week with our usual schedule and maybe some cool stuff over the weekend. Who knows? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy my my new monitor for a little bit. Bye. Have to go take out a bunch of garbage. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to get to my friend's wish list. Like on Amazon? Um, no, on um. Like on Steam? Wish? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Steam. Because I want to give a friend a b early birthday present. That's lovely. Hey, All right, we gotta hey, go. Jim, <laughs> my birthday, my birthday is in eight months. That's early. <laughs> <laughs>